and we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ricky here. Ricky's Hi, joined Paul. us. Hello, mate. Uh, Loki's here as well. Um, <laughs> every day at about two o'clock, Loki decides to come in for his afternoon cuddles. And as soon as I clicked go live, he then came in and started meowing at me. Anyway, he's, he's now left. <laughs> he's now left. We're doing a toe player play through of Burn Cycle today. We've both been preparing for this for quite a while. I've spent half of my last four days playing this and trying to trying to get my head around the rules. Um, Have you won yet? Yes. Good. So Good. the second game we played, which was Friday, we played through an entire mission, right. and we won in an epic way. Awesome. By breaking a hole in the executive room at level two and then rushing out of the, the hole in the wall. It was fantastic. Anyway, we're going to be doing today uh, a mission from the Bio Defend expansion. So Burn Cycle is being delivered to backers right now. Some of you watching this might have your copy. Uh, I know there's a lot of chatter on the Discord channel from people expecting their copies very soon. But we're using a mission from the Bio Defend uh, expansion. We are also using a captain from the Bio Defend. But I don't think we're using any bots from BioDefend, are we? Processor is from the base game. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing Access, and we have a bit, bit. bit as our commander module. Um, we're going to be mainly focusing on playing the game today, but because it's us and we teach people how to play games, we're going to be explaining it to you. So if you don't know how to play Burn Cycle, you're going to get an idea of how it plays from this, but we're also going to be explaining some of the rules as we do them. Okay. Some of the setup we've already done. We've already set up the map. Uh, we've already chosen... Uh, our initial power allocation. Yeah. So before the game starts, uh, the, the bots can spend power. Um, I've chosen to put two power with one of Ricky's into buying a third burn cycle slot. Mm -hmm. So we have an extra burn cycle slot on the um, on the command module, which is going to give us three actions a turn instead of two. You've also bought one of your special abilities, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So we started with 10 and we had to at least spend a minimum, I had to spend a minimum of three, so I chucked one in with you there, Paul, and I've got two on one of the processes, it's little specials, it says um, assess intent. Um, so it's gonna give us a little uh, preview of one of those decks when we enter a room with a mm. terminal. Yeah. And that'll probably help you, so we're kind of thinking a little bit co cooperatively. Yeah, so one of the things, I mean, the game comes with a huge amount of bots, and you, you can choose which bot you wanna play, or you can choose, draw two cards at random and pick which one you want. But the bot that you choose might depend on which mission you're playing. Mm -hmm. So in this particular mission, as you'll find out in a minute, we're going to be accessing terminals. So I've chosen to play Access, because Access is good at accessing terminals. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I've played Access before, so I know how it works. Um, but yeah, you, you can choose whichever bot you want. Mm -hmm. And it could be that if you were to choose the random setup, you might end up with bots that are actually not very good for the mission. Yeah. Um, I but think that's, that's awesome, isn't it? I give you lots. If you can play the same mission over and over with different with different people. bots, and it, it'd be totally, totally different. different. Game. Absolutely different game. I think that rule is in there because otherwise, if you say, "Here you go, choose a bot," and you give somebody fourteen of these filled with text, <laughs> yes. they will just run out the door screaming. So our first few games, we did exactly that. We right. we picked two at random and we chose which one out of those two, and it it restricted our choices and it helped us get the game to the table. Right. Before we dive any further, Ricky's going to read the flavour text thematic intro for the scenario. Okie doke. Alright, so this is Bow Defend Operation Too Many Threats. Two flaws. Um, Complexity is low, but I understand this is a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. So We were told by Chip Theory Games <laughs> this is a hard scenario <laughs> yeah. so that they can watch and laugh. So Bow Defend's latest total bot security tool is a highly tuned sensor that can recognise and track specific vibrations and identify whether they are caused by humans or robots. As is frequently the case with new Biodefend inventions, it's been installed at corporate headquarters first, allowing the company conduct, to conduct live tests before bringing the technology to market. Since the advent, advent of such a product would make our infiltrations much more difficult in the long run, we've decided to break into Biodefend now and attempt to access the data on how the sensors work, allowing us to easily circumvent them by the time they reach distribution. Okay, so we've got um, special, special rules, rules for rules. this mission are yeah. going to break everything that you know about the game already <laughs> <laughs> is going to change. So each floor's got vibration sensors, which uh, we've got to disable. Yep. Um, and to do this, so the game's scaled, so we're playing just two player. So in order to do this, we've got to head into either the control room. Or the server room. And, um, and basically disable. access both of the terminals. Yeah. Once we've done that, in a one or two player game, 
the vibration sensors are disabled. If yeah. it was a three or four player game, we'd have to do the other room as well. Okay. So we just have to. So we have to. And we all have to enter. So we've got three robots. That's processor yep. for me. Access and bit. Um, so we've got to get into the room and disable one of them. Um, for as long as these sensors are active, and this is the tricky bit, mm. bots are well, that's us are always detected while in there in the hallway. Yeah. And threat advances by one at the start of each agent's turn. If their awareness chip we forgot is to do that this morning. In, the, in the hallway. Yeah. yeah. So help us out if we forget to do that. Yeah, if we forget Shout to do things. Out. But basically, if you don't know Burn Cycle, it is an infiltration style game for one to four players. And a lot of the game, unlike a lot of other chip theory games, in fact, all other chip theory games which are combat focused, this one isn't. Mm -hmm. This one is very much stealth infiltration and trying to avoid the security units. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the rules of this game are about the security units and whether they can see you or not. And you've got to try and move around unseen. However, for this scenario, if you are in a hallway space, which is this grey space, you are detected. doesn't matter whether they can see you or not because they've got these vibration sensors. But as soon as we have disabled the vibration sensors, that rule no longer applies for that floor. We're playing a two floor mission. So we've got to achieve the objective of the first floor. Then we've got to get into one of these safe zones. When we do that, we transfer to the second floor. Um, and the game does recommend that you actually read the objectives for the second floor so that you know what you're doing. We've already read them. It's exactly the same. So yeah. once we get to the second floor, we again have to disable the sensors. And then once we've done that, what do we need to do to get out? Oh, well, something. this is different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a... Um the good news is, for our bots, we've got blueprints of all the floors of the two floors, so we yeah. kind of know. You can. This is the thing about this game. You can kind of plan ahead a little bit what you're going to try and do. So it says, disable the vibrations on floors, second floor, and then to win, occupy R&D will while all IPs are on layer three or four of the network. So we've yeah. got to keep an eye on this thing as well. So we've got to disable and get IPs on yeah. three and four. And the other part of the game. And that's kind of, I think where our dual role is going to be. You're going to be good at disabling these... Things. Accessing these terminals and getting rid of them to disable the vibration sensors. And I'm going to kind of focus a little bit on the network. If yeah, I'm. yeah. Now the command module, you always play with a command module even if you're playing a solo game. Um, and the command module follows you around and if the command module ever gets reduced to zero power then you lose the game immediately because the command module has kind of got our programming in it or something right. like that. Um, however, in this mission the command module is not actually needed. Right. Some of the missions, the command module is required to be the one that hacks into the whatever. But in this mission, it's kind of a little bit not listening, are you? Bit yeah, kind of, kind of a bit of a just a yeah. fifth wheel. Just they can help us out, right? They can do. Things. Well, they have an ability, right. which 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 is good. Um, so yeah, so we know what the mission is. We've either got to get well, we've got to get into either the control room or the server room, and we've got to get rid of both of the terminal ships. Once we've done that, the objective is complete. But then we need to get to one of the safe zones. Uh, so we've got the service elevator here, we've got uh, a little small elevator here, and we've got a stairwell here. But we all need to be in a safe zone at the same time. Right, okay. And there's three of us. So, for example, we can't all bundle in here or here. Right. So we could, there's three spaces here, we could just go for these three. We could ignore that completely. Yeah. But again, if we were playing with three players, at least one would have to go over here. So the mission yeah. is, is going to be different depending on how many players right. you have. Right. Okay. Let's go and through... Bits, and bits open the doors to these um, safe zones. Yeah. Doors. So let's go through our own characters first and what we've got. So I've got access. My ability that I have at the start of the game is um, I'm better with, with terminals. So whenever I'm accessing a terminal, uh, you basically draw one of these terminal cards. There'll be three options on it. And my special ability is multi-use command. I get to do the bottom option for free in addition to one of the other ones. Nice. If, if It says if you don't choose the bottom option... I can gain the benefit at no cost. So there you go. That's what my main ability is. Okay. Your ability? I've got imitation matrix. So once per turn, processor, that's me, may optimize an action he takes while on a non-matching chip in the burn cycle. So yeah. the burn cycle is going to give us actions. Um, if the action type matches the chip, then we get an optimized action. Mat uh, processor can do that. Once per turn once, if it doesn't if match. If it doesn't match. Yeah, yeah, if it doesn't match. And that's going to be really useful. And we also have bits. A bit's ability is that doors to safe zones are considered to be unlocked. So what we've done, we've actually put the little 
the green chips in to say that they are unlocked. But they are not considered to be unlocked for the purposes of other game mechanisms which might go around locking doors. For example, okay. we have Radiohead here as a guard. Um, Radiohead will, when he patrols, will want to move towards the nearest unlocked door and then lock it. These do not count for that. Right. So these are literally permanently unlocked, can never be locked, and are ignored by all game effects that refers to locked doors. Okay. Now the other thing, and I think somebody spotted this in the chat, um, but our because we're playing two-player, we actually start off with one of our yeah. upgrades here for free. free. So in a solo game, you would get all three. In a two-player game, you get one of them. And in a three- or four-player game, you don't get any of them. That is in addition to anything else that you want to buy. Yeah. Um, and I've not bought any upgrades on here. We just chose to buy the third burn cycle slot. Um, speaking of the burn cycles, let's let's create it. So because we have three slots available, we need two black action ships, which are generic ones, and yeah. one of the captain's ones. Okay. Nick. Oh. Captain's ones come out first. That's actually not bad. Yeah. That's actually better than it was this morning in the in the trial run through. So the captain's action ship is treated as if it as as if it's a generic one, in other words, we do any one action on it, but before we resolve that action, the captains take effect. And we're playing with um, Trak, who's from the BioDefend um, expansion, and whenever this chip is activated, we lock an unlocked door of our choice. Right. So as we're going to be going around unlocking doors, Trak's going to be locking them again. Now, there is a way we can get rid of this chip, yeah. and we, we, we might be doing that. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we might be doing that. Is there any other setup we need to do? Yes, we need to decide where we start. Yeah. Well, we're going to decide whether we want to split up, stick together. Yeah. Where we're going to go. I and mean, that's part of the, the strategy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've got to break him through this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah. Um, that bottom so corner the, the is calling in, to us, isn't it? The, there is a way in here. Yeah. But this is leading into a room where there is this guard. We've got three ways into the lobby, which is currently empty, but when because this, this bead is there, that means whenever we go in here, we have to roll a die. There may be a guard in here, but other than that, the lobby is empty. And that's it. They are already options. Um, we can't, although we can start, well, you can start anywhere on this pavement area, but there's no way in here. Unless we're able to bash through the walls, which is yeah. what we did in the game last night. I think swiftness is... Uh key here uh, yeah. we might want to check your mic it might it might be rustling a bit oh, move, it, okay. move it up a bit I can do that I'll just turn it off while you do that we'll try that we'll see how that is let us know if that's any better hello 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 there you go so yeah um, speed is of the essence with threat going up if we're in the hallway threat's going up so at the we start need to of get the in and out turn, if their awareness chip is in a hallway, hallway threat goes up by one yeah yeah only on their turn yeah does it sound better Hopefully it's better. I think it was just falling in between your yeah. the fabric. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if that's I, any better. I came with too much fabric. <laughs> right. right. So let's head over to this corner. And Are we doing something? We, we already decided who the star player was, which was me. Yeah. So the corporation marker goes in front of Ricky. Why are you going to go there, mate? If we're going to do the same thing as we tried this morning, which, yeah. which worked for the first couple of turns and then fell apart. Yeah. That's your awareness chip. Oh, yeah. That's my awareness chip. Thank you. And bit's going to go here. Which means the team reserve is a green, a purple, and a purple. So you don't have to start on the spaces with icons, but if you do, the team's reserve is going to start with extra stuff. And since we kind of want to start here, the other option is starting here. Because that's actually closer to there. But do we get the... Uh... But we don't get the chips. Mm. So let's be greedy. Let's get, let's get all of the chips. So we get a green one and two purples. So we'll add them to the team reserve. Okay. From up there. Uh, and yeah, Mark makes a very good point that in this particular scenario, um, all of the guards have keys. Sorry, not in this particular scenario, because track the, the, the guards that you start with is based on the captain. Right. Uh, and the captain card says that all of the guards, the five ones in the out in the in the hallways, all start with keys. And that's because track's ability is to go around locking doors. So that's kind of been put in there as a bit, of a, a, bit of a balance. So they've so got keys. So remind me, Paul, how do we get those keys? We strike them. Yeah. Uh, and if we get if we get 10, we shut them down. If we get five, 
we st we stun them, but either way we get the key. That's for the level one guards. I think the level two guards, I think it's 15 and then 10. Okay. I think they are harder. Um, but we've done that. We've got our thing. Are we ready to start? I think we are. Okay, so I'm going to take the first turn of the game. Uh, turn order, there is, a, there is a reference sheet here, which goes through... Uh, the turn sequence will go through it as we start playing. So the first thing is root power. You don't want to do that on the first turn of the game because we've kind of already done that in setup. So the second one is dice pool. We build the dice pool. My dice pool is uh, eight because I have eight power. I don't have any advanced dice. So I've just got eight blue dice. That is the dice pool build. And now it is the action step. So in the action step, I basically perform three actions. One here, one here, one here. If we had more burn cycle slots, we'd get to do more actions. There are many different actions that you can do in the game, but if the action that you do matches the chip, it's counted as optimized and it's a better version of the action. Right now, we don't have any of the special chips in here. Um, so yeah, so first of all, it is the captain's chip. Now, do we want to replace that captain's chip straight away? Because there's no harm in letting it happen right now because there are currently no unlocked doors. But this is true. if we don't replace it, I'm going to have my go. I'm going to unlock a door, and then by, when it's your turn, the door's going to lock again straight away. Mm. So if we're going to get rid of it anyway, we I could. Think we do it. I think we do it. We, yeah. What I'm thinking is, we don't do it on my turn. Okay. Because at the end of my turn, the burn cycle is going to degrade, and that could get degraded. But that might get degraded. Yeah. Which means you can then replace it without the threat going up. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm going to leave it there. But the downside is you don't get an action. I still get an action, you do, but it's not. But it's optimized. not. It's not optimized. Right. Right. Um, and yeah, when the burn cycle degrades, if we roll a four, if we roll a one, a four, or a five, or a question mark, so there's a four in six chance it's going to be the captain ship. So we resolve the captain's ability, which means we lock an unlocked door of our choice. There aren't any unlocked doors because we remember we ignore these ones. Yeah. Um, and now I get to do any one action. And the one action that I'm going to choose to do is the keypad action, because I'm going to try and open this door. Okay. So, let's take the keypad cards, let's give them a bit of a shuffle from this morning's game. Right, and the keypad action, the keypad card that I've chosen is this one. Now that's actually very handy, because I can either brute force it yep. by rolling a whole bunch of dice and trying to get to four, or I could just lose one power. So I'm going to lose one power. Just one thought. Do we need yeah. a... Um, imperative. imperative. We forgot. Imperative. Yeah, forgot to draw the imperatives. So when you said lose one power, I thought... Oh. You thought, oh. <laughs> I know what happened last time I tried. Yeah, so imperatives are things that you've got to work around. Right, so these what's, are public information. Yeah, right? what's your imperative? Okay, mine says double time. The next time the captain's burn cycle... Action. Ah, oh, this might change your mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe. The next time the bet, captain's burn cycle action happens on my turn, resolve its effect twice instead of once. Um, if it doesn't happen, I can't get rid of this narrative. No. no. Interesting. Okay. And my imperative is sticky floors. <laughs> the next time you take a move action, you may not roll more than one action die. Oh. Now, you can fight against these imperatives if you want, but you lose power. Yeah. Okay, that's not ideal. That is not ideal at all. <laughs> I might have to fight against that. Okay, so it's only one power, there, right? Yeah. So my action was. There's ways to get power back. There is. Um, so I did the keypad through action. this thing mostly, and possibly this. Possibly this. You can find batteries left lying around. So we've done the keypad action. That's been resolved. This door is unlocked. Yeah. And as part of unlocking a door, you get a free move if you want to inside the room. And because the room hasn't been surveilled yet. We take that off and we roll the die. Okay. Now that's quite nice. That's an imperative, yeah. which means I would draw an imperative card if I don't have one. I already do have one, so it's ignored. What that means is there are no guards in this room. Cool. First action is done. Second action was going to be a move, and I was going to roll all of these dice, and I was going to move everywhere. Now I can, ignore it, but that would be going against my imperative, and I would lose one power. But that's like one blue die for how many you've got for... X number of turns, right? Yeah, because I want to get to here and I want to do a terminal action. We've got your ability. Speaking of terminal actions, we've got your ability. So yeah, whenever yeah. a bot... Once per turn, when any bot enters a room, 
with a terminal. They may draw the ne draw the next face down terminal card. Yeah. Have a little peek at it, and you can either keep it face up on top of the deck or discard it. Yeah. Cool. So there's no. It's not on your turn. It is just once per turn. turn, once per turn yeah. Okay. So we're having a look at the terminal card, and I'm mainly looking at the bottom one because I get to do the bottom one for free. Um, and the bottom one says, move all pings on the network to the node of your choice on layer four. There aren't any. So that's actually of no use whatsoever. So I think we're going to put that to the back. All right, good choice. And we'll see what the next one is. So yeah, action number two, I think is going to be to disobey my imperative, naughty Paul, which means I lose one power. It's always one power that you lose even if it says two in the bottom corner. Right. So the two power is what you're going to get if you, you do, do it, it, but if you don't do it, it's it's always a loss of one. That's what Mark told me last night, anyway. You can choose to lose power to discard the imperative regardless of if it actually triggers. Oh, for your question. So you can, if you want to, just get rid of it for one power. Yeah. So I'm going to lose a power to fight against my imperative, to ignore the sticky flaws, and I'm going to choose the move action. Now, it's not optimised. I need to move one, two, three, four. Um, this is where the push your luck element of the game comes in. What's the chance of me? I think I need five dice. Am I going to get four on five dice? Just a quick question. Paul. Yeah. You might hear this a lot because this is the first time I've played since. Yeah. <laughs> pretty since since the start preview. Yeah. Does this imperative get replaced when we move floors? Uh, so you will draw a new imperative. Yeah. Uh, when you change floors. But as for the question of what happens if you've already got one when you change floors, let me just check. Imperatives? Well, I'm just thinking, if I take the captain's chip out, this is never going to happen. So I'm never going to have to suffer it. Okay. Um, but potentially I might want the imperative that comes on the second floor. So changing floors. Um, I read this somewhere. Challenge is trying to find it in the rule book before Mark tells me what the answer is. Let's put this somewhere where I I'll, I'll, mute, I'll mute Ricky's microphone. Maybe on the other side? Pop it on there. That might work. Either that or on your scarf. The scarf will work. Pop, pop it sort of. No, uh, no, down a bit. On the actual thing itself. That might work. Right. Uh, so, yeah, imperatives. Do you get a new imperative when you change to floor two if you've already got one? Any agent that does not have an imperative card draws one. So but I'll just keep this. Have it. Yeah. So that's just going to sit there and not get. Well, it might come back on the second floor. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. It's not going to hurt me at all, is it? No, but it's two free power if you allow it to, to happen. To happen. Yeah. Anyway, so we were, that's all right. I'm, I'm trying to work out how I how I can get four movement from five blue dice. And still have enough to do the turn. Because if this doesn't work, I'm going to then have to move again, which is which is painful. And knowing me, so we're going to try and switch off the sensors, and that happen. We do it. we do that by either disabling all of the terminals in that room or that, that room. room. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll these. We're trying to head to this corner and then potentially come around here. Yeah. Get in here. I mean, that was our plan this morning, and then yeah. it all went wrong when these guards yeah. started moving around. But... Yeah. Whoa. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Total, total, way too many. Yeah. I've got nine movement points. Okay. Now, um, yeah. Now, you can split your movement points between you and the commander module. But unfortunately, the commander module is stuck behind processor yeah, and doesn't have the swap ability. That's what I possibly should have done. Should have possibly rooted power, got the swap, swap ability a bit so that we could have moved this in. Yeah. But we okay. didn't. So I've got nine and I want to get there. Yeah, so I'll go right. one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, there we go. All to the parts <laughs> on the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, and the next action is going to be the terminal action. Yeah. So we're going to draw a terminal card, and oh, I get to do the bottom one for free. Um, 
gain full power. Yeah. Wow. Now, there's no point choosing the top one because that decreases the CEO's network level by one and it's still one. So I'm going to choose the uh, terminal cache. I need three AP to do it. I've only got three dice left. So this says draw a mod card yeah. if successful. If successful. Two, I am successful. Plus because one, two three. Two blanks together make a one. Perfect. So I, I get a mod card and I also I found an external hard drive and I get four power. Wow. Right. So you could Very route nice. that power before the end of your I will. turn. Perfect. So the mod I've got is safe hack. Now, mod cards, when you get them, they start off uninstalled and you put them sideways. They're supposed to go below your player board, but we're putting them to the side just so we can get more stuff on camera. I can equip this at any time. Each time your agent takes a terminal action, you may select one additional terminal option. Oh, well, that kind of works well with me. That means I'm going to be able to do all three, potentially. Oh, that's good. Now, or I could just discard it at any time for two, two power. power. So... I'll keep it there for now. I don't need it. That terminal is gone. Um, and now the actions are done. So now we go into my network step. So this is where we're dealing with this part of the board. Okay. Are you I've... happy with that? You don't want to change the burn cycle at any point? No, no I think I'm still... okay for now. Okay. Where are you going to try and get to? Um, doesn't matter, does no, it? No. So, yeah, basically, actions in the network. I get three actions. You follow through this step again. And if it's the captain's chip or a generic chip, you basically get to move one space. I don't have any network cards, so this is really simple. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And if you land on a hub on layer one, you increase your network level by one. Okay. If we'd have had different chips in here and we'd have had network cards, it's a lot more complicated and we'll get to that when it happens. Right. Now we're going to routing power. And now I have 10 power, but I'm only allowed to keep eight. So at this point, I think we're going to buy some stuff. Um... So I need to spend at least two. So I am going to spend two. Now we can buy command module upgrades as well. Mm -hmm. Have you got any useful abilities on your... Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, this is actually really good for keypads. Um, the bottom one is actually really good as well. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to buy, and I've not bought this before, but I'm going to spend three power to buy clone interface. Once per terminal action, when resolving the AP check... Access may assign twice the required AP to a selected option on the terminal card in order to gain its benefit twice. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah. So what If it costs you zero? Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, I don't know how that combos with this because this is... No, this is after taking a terminal action. Okay. If I didn't select the bottom option, I get its benefit at no cost. I don't think I can clone... The free one. Okay. Yeah. I think so. It seems expensive, and I'm no, I'm changing my mind on that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend two power. You need to spend two. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to buy a yellow dice. That's nice and simple. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. So that was my three actions. And we network. did that. We did that. So I've rooted power. Now yep. we degrade the burn cycle. Yep. It's a three. Unfortunately, <laughs> that is that that has been degraded. Yeah, that, okay. didn't, that didn't work nicely, did it? So it's your turn. Okay. So and I'm... if we don't alter the burn cycle, that door is going to lock straight away. Yeah. yeah. You cannot clone the free one. I thought so. All right. Well, let's put a physical in there then, I think. Because mm -hmm. um, that's going to help you. Yep. So if you replace the captain's uh... burn cycle chip when it is still active, threat goes up by two. But I think we have to do it. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're going to have to be... I think we might... I might save these, because we're going to need those a little bit later. Why don't I put... Okay. Why don't I put tech in there? But you are replacing it. Yeah. So threat's gone up by two. Because I've always got my imitation matrix. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, root power. I'm not going to root power. Dice pool. I've got seven. So seven blue. Very much. Seven. Okay. Actions. So, terminal, terminal. Now, the door's unlocked, so you can get through. I can. But I might just do that. I might just do as a tech first. Mm -hmm. I might just use a tech first. And then use the second one, use my ability to move with all my dice. And I'll let you deal with that. 
We're going to be down to two chips. Okay. Let's. So the um, going by two. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a uh, network card optimized. I'm going to take two network so cards. So you take a network card as the action, yeah. and then you're going to take another uh, network card as the unoptimized yeah. action. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get to see how network cards work in a minute. Okay, so we've got a level one there and a, and a three. They're both, uh, they're both. Yeah, but the three is quite hard to get at the start. And they're both physical. All right. Next. Next action. Right. I'm going to use, use your ability. Yeah, I'm going to use my ability. So I'm going to make an use a non-matching chip in the burn cycle to make it look optimized. So okay. we have two movement. So for the purposes of this action, this is an optimized chip, and you're going to choose movement, which yeah. means you get a free two movement points. Yeah. And how many do you actually want to spend? Can All of them? Yeah. Can I upgrade twice in the burn cycle for my next turn? Altering it? Yeah, alter. Yeah. yeah, you can alter the burn cycle as many times as you want. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, plus two is so ten, ten, plus two. Eleven. Eleven. Now, whenever a bot, uh, whenever an agent chooses the move action, they can split their movement points between them and the command module however they want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven. Yep. Nice. So we're all in the room. None of us have been detected because there was nobody in here. Yeah. Security cameras are off. I think we have to get rid of that. Do you agree? We're going to have to at some point, so we might as well do it now. We might as well do it because then I've yep. got a chance of getting these, yep. I think. Uh, you don't need... Oh, I see what you mean. Ah, so you're using you're doing that to help you in the network step. I think so. Okay. That works. Also, you now get a physical yeah, action. which is only two. Um, yeah, or you could try and open the door. Oh, I could try and open the door. Or I could do anything else. Yeah. I could take some another network card. Yeah. One, two. Or I could just move him over there. I mean, if we don't need this door open, no. Then yeah, two two free movement points to move bit into here. I might take another network card. Okay. Yep, yeah, unoptimized. That's well, all unoptimized I'll do. network card action. Yeah. Right. So Ricky now has three network cards. Now these network cards, you're going to see how they work. Now I think. Okay. And you're also going to see how. The, these chips work. So whenever there is a special chip in the burn cycle in the network step, what you do is you move clockwise around until you hit. Uh, you always stop on a hub, which are the red ones, um, but you also stop on a matching color chip. So you're starting here. Yeah. Um, so your first move is you transfer in. Yeah. And then you stop on that hub, hub, which increases your network level by one. That's the green one done. Yeah. And I'm going to use that to fight this guy. Yeah. So now we've got action number two, is just move one step. And what's next? And it will be a purple next. So either I'm going to activate this or this. So I've got cookies or safe mode, potentially. Right. So cookies says skip the ping activation and step the corp this turn. That could be good. Uh, move each ping, says safe mode, to an unoccupied node of your choice on layer four. Mm, that's no good. There's no pings on the network at the moment. So we're going to so we try and do that one. Yeah. So I'm just going to move in there. Okay, so the way that it works is Ricky has ended his second network action on a green space on layer two. Yep. And he's got a network card that activates on green spaces on layer two. Uh, which basically says, yeah, skip the ping activation step of the corporation's turn this round. So we're going to put it there just to remind us that we're going to we're going to skip that. Yeah, and I don't think I can hit either of those. Uh, next is per, uh, the purple. purple. So you so move clockwise around until you hit a purple one. And again, if Ricky had a purple network card with a two on it, that would now activate. And I've got a one and a three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to lose yeah. those at the end of my turn. End of your turn, all network cards that you've got disappear. Okay, root power. No, I need my dice... At the moment, okay. uh, degrade, degrade the bird cycle. cycle. Thank you very much. It's a one. Okay. Okay. So after all players have taken a turn, 
the corporation takes a turn and the yellow marker is a reminder of that. So after the player who has the yellow marker takes their turn, we do the corporation's turn. So the first thing that happens in the corporation's turn is we activate the security units and that is divided into three particular parts. First of all, any detected bots are pursued. There are no detected bots at this stage. Mm -hmm. Then if there are any, any awareness chips on the board, uh, they will be investigated. We don't have any awareness chips on the board. Mm -hmm. And then the third step is patrol. Okay. So all of the guards in hallways will now patrol according to their patrol characteristic. Um, and what we have is we have, and we can do these in any order, yeah. but we have Walker. Now, Walker has a perimeter patrol stat. So it's basically going to walk around and follow going anti-clockwise all the way around here. Yeah, and he's following the wall on his right-hand side. Following the wall on the right-hand side. So it moves four, and then it will turn to face the direction that it would be moving next. And then after we've resolved it, we flip it over, Ouch. just to remind us that it has moved. Yeah. Bulldog, stay still. Bulldog he's, doesn't do anything yeah, to that. He's got that, that can flip over. dot on him. Um, this one, yeah, yeah, this go. has got um, the perimeter patrol as well. It's moving three. One, two, three. Turning to face that way. Up there, you've got hamster. Now, this is the pace one. So basically, it will walk backwards and forwards along this line. Until so hamster he, moves two. Until he sees someone or something interrupts. Yep. Him, yeah. And then that's that done. And then finally, we have uh, Radiohead. Now, Radiohead is cautious now. Um, sorry, he's got the door one. So what Radiohead will do is move towards the nearest unlocked door, which is here. Mm -hmm. It's the only, remember, we're ignoring these ones. Um, so basically, Radiohead moves to there. Yeah. And they don't go through rooms, right? They're just going to go around the Correct. corridors. Um, no, 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 they don't. Unless they can go in. Yeah, yeah. They, they take the shortest route Oh, possible. yeah, these are, there's nowhere in. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're just safe. So, yeah. So that's all of the security units done, which means we flip the chips back over. I didn't mention this, but I, I will mention this, and this is not if you're watching live, but if you are watching this back afterwards, I would recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles, because after this video has finished, if somebody points out that we made a mistake at a certain point, I will add Klingon subtitles into the video um, with, with the corrections. So yeah, turn them on now if you're not watching this live. If you turn them on, you can't turn them on if you're watching live, basically. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're watching this back afterwards, turn on your Klingon subtitles. Right, the next thing is the corporation does the activate pings. But which it doesn't do. Because I... Because you did some... I thing. named my burn Seiko yeah. Snickerdoodle. There we go. There you go. Right. <laughs> and the third thing is we advance threat. So threat is this tracker here. It is based on the corporation that you're playing against. There are difficulty levels. We're playing on standard. The other side is much easier. And the threat advances by one per player. Yeah. So we're going to advance threat by two. Now, we've hit one of these uh, threat events. So we mark that this event has happened, because this event will never happen again, even if threat goes down and then comes back up. So spyware. The CEO adds a ping to the core, and then we activate all pings. So this is what it would have done in its activate ping step. But we, we, we skipped that, but it's doing it now anyway. So we take a ping, we put it in the core, and then we activate all pings. So whenever a ping activates, it moves three spaces clockwise until it reaches either an IP, a ping, um, a hub, or, it's, or it has moved three. So this one goes one, two, three. And then after they've moved, we roll the red die once for each ping on a hub. And if there aren't any, then every ping that can transfer outwards does so. So yeah, so we've already got a, net, uh, a CEO's network ping traveling around. And basically, if you don't know the game, what's going to happen is these pings are going to start at the core, they're going to travel around, they're going to go outwards, and they're going to try and find us. Mm. And when they do find us, we compare, compare our network levels to it. Uh, and if it's equal to or higher, it will boot us from the network. Yeah. So yeah, by us increasing our network level, that gives us protection against those pings. And we can chase those down. Um and knock them off as well. Yeah, if we increase our network level enough, we can actually go after them to, to, to get them but off the network. It's hard. I'm looking ahead now to see what network's going to be doing. Yeah. So that's my focus. Okay, so Mark is correcting us. Um, it moves towards a hallway space adjacent to the closest unlocked door. Ah, so we don't count this door here. Radiohead is only interested in locking the doors inside the building. Oh, a hallway space. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so he's staying there. So he's staying there. He's not moving. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mark. Right. My go again. Yeah, back to you. Root okay, power. so routing power. Now, 
We need we need to basically plan our turn now, don't we? Yeah, can we just stay in there and yeah, hang out? Yeah, this, this sounds good. <laughs> and then when the threat gets to 25, we just oh, go yeah. home. This yeah. is the urgency, right? You've got to... I mean, threat's <laughs> going to keep going up. It is. But as soon as we step into this hall, we're going to put our awareness there because of the vibration. Exactly. This is where we need to get. That's where we need we to get. We just have to run and across we've got, there. We've got two locked doors. Mm. So we're going to have to move here, unlock the door, move out, move to here, unlock the door, move in. Do we... As soon as we activate this, though, does that turn off the vibration sensors? Um, or do we? What all... does the scenario say? <sighs> Each bot enter the server or control room. So, One bot disable the vibration sensors. So yeah, we need so to do both of those to complete the objective. Yeah. Oh, I see what but you mean. disabling them is just doing that piece, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So disabling them ASAP means. So I could run in there. Yeah. Disable the sensors. And then other people can run in and without, not be detected. Without, be, without tripping yeah, the I vibrations. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Klingon subtitles will appear if it's wrong. Mm. Um, or tell us now. Because it does say, while the floor's vibration sensors are active, and then the thing is, disable the vibration sensors. Yeah. And you do that by... Um, they're disabled in a room when it has no terminal chips in it. Yeah, so I think the disabling of the sensors and us all being in there are two separate two things. Two separate things. I don't like this net threat next threat level. Add a level two guard to the hallway. No, well, we definitely don't like that. <laughs> so, at the moment, if I don't alter the burn cycle, I'm only getting one action here and one action here. Yeah. Maybe we should have bought another action. <laughs> May maybe I'm thinking we root power and buy another slot because that gives us another action. So you're thinking, put another one in, thinking of putting another and one replace in. that one, possibly replacing that one as well. Mm. I mean, that guard's coming anyway, right? So yeah. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend. Are you happy losing all those dice? Well, I'm going to spend two power. Yeah. No, I'm going to spend one power, and I think I'm going to spend two power from the commander module. Oh, okay. So as long as the active player spends one of them, the other power can come. So you could actually contribute to this as well if you needed to. Yeah. But I think having the four power for the command module, which is purely its health, I think that's going to be okay. So we need a generic chip there. That oh. arrives straight away. Okay, and then... So I'm you want to try and... You're going to want to try and move yeah. you and bit... bit into here yeah and then i'm just gonna have to, so you're gonna have to open the door unlock this door yeah then scoot around here have enough movement are yeah you, are you going to be able to disable that and move him we'll in? see we'll see or maybe i'm just going to use all my movement to follow along behind yeah all right see how it goes we'll see what happens so i'm going to replace this one I'll alter the burn cycle and put that chip in there okay there i love the planning in this i love the way you yeah. think ahead and it may not happen it may not all happen how you plan it but it's no, good, no, no. It's good fun thinking. I mean yeah, we had a plan this morning and it completely went wrong yeah. and we're doing exactly the same thing now and also <laughs> the fact that it's a stealth game kind of slows you down mentally to take yes. that time to just think about yeah. what I'm going to do it's kind of, kind of nice okay so my first action that I'm going to do is the move action it is uh -huh. optimised so I get two AP. free movement points so I use that to move to there oh dice pool dice pool yeah I need seven blue and one yellow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a yellow. Did I spend the power? Yeah, I did. I spent from eight to... Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. So there's, I've still got this as well. So there's my dice pool. That's still quite so a lot. So that's just a free two move. Yeah, it's just now a free optimised move action. Like move to there. And now you Don't need to roll any dice. Try and open the door. Now I'm going to do a keypad action. Yeah. It's almost like you've thought about what you're doing, Paul. It's, well. it's all coming together. <laughs> I can see it now. So you're going to try open the door, move in, and you've got an action left to do this. We'll see what this is. If it works. It's an o. This is actually not too bad okay. at all, because that means I'm detected. I'm about to be detected anyway, because I'm going to step out the doorway. So mm. this is actually really good. So there's a little security camera above the door that Senior. detects me. So I am now a detected bot. But that door is now open, okay. and I get a free movement if I want to, which I do. And I would have been detected there because of the vibration sensors. Mm -hmm. So that is actually, that's actually worked okay. Mm. Next, 
I need another action. Just being greedy, aren't I? I'm going to do a physical action. I'm going to... It's optimised. Ah, uh, yeah, you've got to unlock so this I've got, door. I've got two movement points. But if I'm not using these dice for anything else, do I now want to move bit? Or just use them to smack that door down? To brute force the keypad. Mm. That's, that's the other option. But I think I might move bit a little bit. Because it's only going to be 4 AP to get it. Which is probably going to be... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just roll some dice. Yeah, do it. Uh, three. So it's three. So I can spend the three for movement, put the blank back. One, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then my fourth action is going to be a keypad action. The only thing is we're not going to be able to get into the room. I'm going to get in. Yeah. Try and disable this. But I won't be able to disable that this turn. Now, this has got two things on. That is put a ping on the network, and that is going to make me require this chip. Since I've got all these dice left, I'm going to try and brute force the lock. Yeah. So four. whenever you try and get through a keypad, you can either defeat all of these little icons here, or you can try and brute force it. Unless it says jam. If it says jam, you've got to go downstairs and have some strawberry jam instead. I think that's in the rule book. Uh, uh, yeah. Nice and easy. Okay. Done. Door is unlocked, and I get a free movement in, and unlike this morning, we will remember to roll the die. Mm. So let's see what's in the room, because if this, if this is a guard, then we're in trouble. Um, yeah, and I've oh, got... We get to use your ability and I get well. to use... Yeah, exactly. Oh! Nice. That is very nice. So that's actually helped us a lot. That terminal isn't just a terminal, it's a terminal with a direct connection to the mainframe. Perfect. Absolutely okay. perfect. Now, when a bot enters a room with a terminal, draw the next face down. There you go. So you choose to keep it, or you can discard it. I think that's good. What does it say? Well, unlock the bottom a door one of, is unlock a door of our choice, but the yeah. middle one is reduce threat by two. Yeah. And because it's a mainframe, it's free. <laughs> nice. So we're keeping that one. We're right. absolutely keeping that one. So they normally cost APs, but because it's a mainframe, they all cost zero. Is that right? Yeah, and Matt is asking, does my awareness chip stay in the hallway? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Matt. My awareness chip should not have gone in with me. Yeah. I thought you said, does Paul's awesomeness chip stay in the hallway? <laughs> no, it comes with you. <laughs> well, my eyesight is, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Now, be aware. At the start of your next turn, oh, yeah. uh, threat will advance by one because you're... It thing. will. Yeah. But yeah, the rules about whether... Uh, awareness chips go with you through doorways is quite complicated, but basically if the security if there's a security unit that would be able to see the space through the doorway, then my awareness chip would have gone with it, but it doesn't. So Now, are these guys going to get close enough to us to block? Like they did earlier on today. Yeah, one, two, three. Mm. It's that walker that is the problem because it moves four. Yeah, it's not time yet. It's going to be another turn. Mm. So I think we're going to get there. At the moment, I can't enter this room because you're standing in the unless way. Unless you have. Unless I upgrade unless to, you're to swap. swap, but that'll put you back out in the hall. Then I'll get swap <laughs> on my turn. <laughs> and we can just keep swapping with each other. Yeah. I think I'm done with my actions, so yeah. we now go to the network okay. step. Network it is. So first of all, it's purple, black, purple, black. So I'm on here. My first purple, I have no choice. It goes to here. Yeah. My second one... I can carry. I don't have any network cards, so it all depends what I actually trying to do. Well, you can get to this one or this one, so I can actually gain power. Yeah, let's do it. So with this one, I'm just going to move one, and I'm going to transfer in. Yeah. With this one, I'm going to move one. clockwise to the nearest purple one, and which is there. In. And then with the next one, I'm going to move one. Oh, yeah. Worth and I'm in. going to move to there. And on layer three, you gain one power. Nice. Sweet. This is the point. We, so I think we just stop the video here because, yeah. well, you can have a turn. But then we stop the video because <laughs> everything's going all right. Well, we'll quit more ahead. And then when it all goes wrong, we just rewind. So you still haven't disabled the things, which is the down, which is the bad. But we no, just didn't have enough didn't actions. Didn't have enough actions because I had both of the doors yeah. unlocked. But unlocking two doors like that. Okay. None of us have got a key either. No. So. Um, you didn't downgraded that thing. Yeah. Okay. We are done.
do I want to root power and get? I, I've got there's a push, but that's only pushing guards. Yes, yeah, pushing is only against security units. I've got repair, which means I can exchange power or give my power to somebody else. Yeah, and then you've got swap. So at the moment, I'm thinking, if I come in through this door, I mm -hmm. can't because you're in the way. But if I swap, I'm putting you back out into the That's hall. Fine. Doesn't help. Mind. Well, one of us is going to be in the hallway. Because if you're going to go in and then move in to get the other stuff, yeah, then you're not going to be in the way of me then getting in. This guy's going to... This is the problem, isn't it? Is he going to move towards this? So, yeah, at the moment, um, this is going to need to be investigated. Yeah. And this is the closest one to investigate it. So this would move one, two, three. And block that doorway. And end up in front of the doorway. And then this one's going to move one, two, three, four. Um, that wouldn't move. I oh, know, it wouldn't, because it's not in the thing. Each awareness this one. ship will only be investigated once. This one's going to move four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because actually you going out there is going to put your awareness chip. Yeah. And bit going out there. All of our awareness chips are going to be here, which means these three guards are all going to come and investigate us. So we're going to have two guards here. Yeah. Well, I can't get in, <laughs> so I'm going to have to come out. You're going to have to. You're going to have to get here, and I that means pushing to, you out the way, which is fine. Yeah, which means it's absolutely fine. But I can have less dice. It's only one power to get swap, right? Yeah. Uh, unless anyone can think of anything better to do, I think that's a good idea. So I'm down to six. So Scott is asking, can multiple bots awareness chips be on the same location? Yes. All right. And how is it handled? I think you just follow through the rules normally. It's obviously going to be hard for you to see on the overhead camera, but right. we'll, we'll try and. So the key out. there is, I choose to root power before I pull my dice pool. So now I've only got six dice. Yeah, six blue dice. Pass me three more pools. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Um, now I can either take the optimized two. One two one two, or I can throw all my dice. What else do you want to do this well, turn? Are I, you just moving? I need to get bit in as well. Yeah. And if I swap places with you, you're going to be in the way of bits. Bits going to be stuck here next to this, and he's only got four power. Do I need to stick a? Do I need to stick a swap on bit as well? That's what I'm thinking. Can I use... So, command module abilities. Poor little bit. Yeah. Universal abilities work the same for... Uh, so, upgrades on the command module can be activated during the root power step of any player's turn, and the power routed to them can come from any bot or combination of bots, as long as at least one power comes from the current agent or the command module itself. Hmm. So, I could so a bit lose could a, use one of its own power. Or I could lose a die and do it. As long as we can protect Bit, it doesn't matter if he's got one power left. Yeah, we need Bit in that room. <laughs> and he doesn't want to get blocked in by these guards. I'm just going to rename Bit to Liability. <laughs> I think is a... <laughs> Liability. Yeah, I know. What I can use Optimize 2, Optimize 2. Optimize one, 3. You've, you've got and then, six and then all my dice. If you want. Yeah. One, two, one, two. How does swap happen? Uh, it's during movement. So he could end his movement and then swap places with you? Uh, or does no, he have to move you, into that yeah, space? Yeah, you spend the one, you move onto the space, and the bot that you're swapping with goes on the space that you were just in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is tricky, because I'm going to have to swap places with Bit as well. And that'll put Bit back out in the room. Do I go through first? Yeah. I think you go through first and move in, <laughs> and then Bit comes in and swaps, and I end up here. Okay. <laughs> but at least I open the door. All right. So Bit goes down to three power. Okay. And Bit has gained the swap upgrade. Oh my gosh. We're fine. Fine. I'll get the repair ability, and then I'll start pumping my power into it to repair it. Back. All right. Movement. Yeah. Do I roll all my dice first? I guess I do, because if I get blanks, you can put them back. I can put them back. Yeah, absolutely. Because you don't need the dice for anything else. Famous last words. Yeah. Right. At least we know what we're dealing with. Let's roll the dice. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Plus the two. Eleven, Eleven movement points. So I'm going to move me first. Correct? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. 
five, six. six. This doesn't cost extra movement, does it? So we've got accesses awareness chip, processes awareness chip, and access all on there. Let's put the um, let's put the side view on. I'm gonna. T In fact, I think I have another preset just for that area there. There you go. A bit better. All right, I'm gonna move seven. So that's an equipment yep. chip. So as soon as you move onto it, as part of movement, you get rid of it. Okay. And you draw an equipment card. Yeah, but that might be something helpful. An equipment card. It's an air horn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Those beans I had last night. As a free action, you may place your agent's awareness chip on an adjacent space until the, uh, until the end of the round. Security has no awareness of your agent. Discard this equipment at the end of the round. So actually, could I use this? So equipment, unlike mods, is automatically equipped. And you can only have two of them. So you've got um, you've got one. But Let yeah, me think about it. Let me do the movement first. Yeah. How much movement did you use? I think that was um, seven, wasn't it? Where did you start? Here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven movement used. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I presume that puts your awareness here. Yep. Yeah. And his as well. Eleven. Okay. Now, I'm mean, going to move bit in. But I don't want to put him there, do I? Um, gonna be the command way. module can do terminal actions, but I'm better at doing terminal actions. If I pop him here, I'm just thinking I could take a network card, but that might use an action. Um, I can move him to with this, mm -hmm. but then he's going to be in your way. Are you happy to move him out of the way before? Because you're going to have to move anyway to get in here. Yeah, I so think you might have one movement point left, right? I think if you can leave the path to the terminal free for me to get in when it's my turn next. Okay, so you'd rather I used both these as I can't move. I, oh yeah, because I can use I can I can move him twice if I needed. To. Yeah. So using my imitation matrix, I'm going to treat that as an optimized movement. Yep. And move bit here for two. Uh, swapping doesn't cost a movement point except for the movement point that it costs to move. Right, which is what we did. So swapping just happens as part of your movement. Yeah, yeah cool, thank you. Whereas pushing does cost an extra movement point. All right, and then I can take another optimised movement and move bit out of the way. Yeah. Or I could do that. Just there. I think, yeah, either way, I'm blocking you in. Do we, do we want to leave bit there? Next to... Because if we're planning to come out this way, or are we planning to come out this way? Are we planning to go out there? These guys are going to come in and block this way, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. So we're going to have to come out through this door. Yeah, okay. All right. Do Fourth I action want... is skipped unless you alter the burn cycle. Right, it's in. Which it is yeah. in. Okay, and which action are you going to do as action number four? Well, um, I'm going to take two network uh, cards. Ricky had an extra two movement points. Did you? I don't know. How many movement points did you have? You had two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You had eleven. Yeah, I moved you eleven. Went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I did move two, move two. But then you had an extra four. And where was bit? Bit was here. Yeah, bit moved in to use the eleven. One, two, three, four. Then you had two. Then another two. two. I'm not sure. Scott saying that you had an extra two movement points. Somewhere. What left to spend, mm. or that I haven't spent? That you haven't spent. No, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe. Um, I did eleven. Then I had two and two, one two, one two. Matt saying that you used all eleven. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, I mean it was eleven here. Yeah, but then you had another two, two here, yeah, and another, another two, two here, yeah, which is what put him over here. So you've actually used fifteen movement points for the whole of your turn. Yeah, yeah. so that that's the. But question. you want to leave him here, right next to you? Uh, no, because I'd forgotten we were going that way. So I think the further along, the better. Yeah, there, there's so. there's a good place, I think. Yeah, I think so. All right, then I'm going to take two network cards. Yep. So an optimized network action, Thank you very much. followed by an unoptimized network card action. Uh, a layer two and a layer one. Well, I'm on layer two. 
Is it layer? Do we say layer? Yes, network or, layers. Okay. All right, so that was my actions. Now we move to network. So I mm -hmm. skip back and we so go. It's purple, black, purple, green. Yeah. And I want to. I want to try and. What's this say? Set any network level die to three yeah. or increase any level. level. That's how it works. Turn any one n terminal into a mainframe terminal if I can get to a green on layer one. So what I'm going to do, apologies for this, but I didn't set a camera angle for the network map this morning. So it's just going to be a little bit messy for a minute <laughs> while I sort this out. All right. uh, and I'm just going to Skip. do this. I'm just going to, there you go, live. Oh. Do that there. Put that round. I'm just going to zoom in on that, but I'm probably going to rotate it. Just so it looks. Yeah. So Central says, when moving on, recommend discarding dice as you move to keep track. That's a really good idea. You could even just leave them on the map as you move. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Good tip. Right, here we go. So that's there. I'm going to rotate it clockwise so it's there. And then I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So it's there. There we go. We have that. Hi Shannon. Shannon's put to you. Shannon's here. Hi Shannon. Thanks for popping in. Hello. So you've got a purple, black, purple, yes. green. So one red. So you stop on there. That reduces threat by one. Thank you. Then. Second action is black chip. No. So it's one space. I want to stay on layer. Can I get there though? Yes. Okay. Then we have purple. Yeah. And then green. And then green means you end up on a green space on layer one. Yeah, or I could have gone for green on layer two, but now I'm going to go with that one. Turn one terminal into a mainframe terminal. Okay. I'll let you decide where, because you're the mainframe guy. Well, you're the terminal. The Shall question I? is, are we actually going to? Are we going to do any more terminals? Well, the only tempting room is this one, isn't it? Because there's stuff in it. Yeah, and because we might want to escape from. Um, and oh, that's already a mainframe. Yeah. The other what one. Was your other option? Set a network level die to three. That's just one tick on one of those dice. So, I could have gone. That was this one. Mm -hmm. Then we've got one step this way. Then physical would have got me here. Now I could have knocked that thing off. Yeah. Let's do that instead. Okay. All right, so one step Purple was... went to there, we've reduced the threat by one. Yeah. Right. Then Next we go... one movement. Which was here. Or in. Yeah, here. Or in. Doesn't matter. Yeah, third one is purple. So I can go to this one or this one. Do I want to get to that one? Oh, you can actually get to the hub. And what will the hub... Uh, sorry, the core. Yeah, what will the core give me? The core will give you all of the benefits of layers one, two, and three. So, yeah, you sneak in. Do I, though? Because purple goes here, green goes there. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't. You'd be close. I'd be close, but no prize. All right, so let's do this one instead. So we're going to go around to this purple. purple. Yeah, and then with the green, you're going to hit Not this pink. Hit that pink. Okay, so what happens is we have a fight between the IP and the ping. We compare network levels... Um, the corporation always wins ties unless you're on a six. So in this case, you're two, it's one. So the ping is booted. Uh, your network level goes down by one because it's hard work. Uh, and now you can use the benefit of the node if you had any yeah. special cards. But you don't. Which I don't. It's got rid all... of the ping, so yeah. that's good. And I lose these. I like the idea of just hitting um, network cards because we can keep the threat down. Yes. And you never know what's going to come out there. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. these nice little prizes that chuck up Staying little on surprises. Layer, on, on layer two, knocking that, knocking that threat down is going to be useful. Yeah. All right, so that was network. Root power. Do I want to use any of the power that I haven't so far? No. Degrade the burn cycle. Where have I put the burn cycle die? Is that one? Good, man. Two. Two. Okay. So, corporation. Corporation. Turn. So, do we have any detected bots? Yes, we do. I am here, and, and I, am, I am detected. So yeah. for, just for the, the rules lawyers, the definition of a detected bot is a bot where, that has their awareness chip on them. 
So I am a detected bot. So the first thing that happens is security units that pursue is if there is a detected bot in the awareness range of a security unit. And that is this one, unfortunately. So this one has an awareness of eight in that direction or four anywhere else. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I am within the awareness of this unit here, not that one. And one, two, three, four, five, not that one. Yeah. So this one pursues me. Now, what that means is it moves towards me and its movement is three. So it goes one, two, three. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means it has ended. Oh, yeah, sorry, that way. It has ended its movement next to me, which means it hits me and would deal me. I would lose a number of power equal to the level of the unit. However, it has the ability of demerit. What that does is threat goes up instead of me taking damage. So, yay, I didn't take damage, <laughs> but boo, threat has gone up by one. Yeah. Um, that has now moved, and it has moved towards me. So we've dealt with those two chips. We now deal with any other pursues, but there aren't any. So now we deal with investigations. So for each awareness chip still on the board, and we have two of them, the nearest security unit will move towards that awareness chip, which is Walker. So Walker... I believe is the nearest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yes, so this is the nearest one. So this one is moving towards here. It's movement of four. One, two, three, four. So it's moving towards where the awareness chip is. That's that one done. And that's that one done. But now we have processor's awareness chip. Now, what's the nearest one to there? Is it this one? Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight apiece. So we can choose, choose which one to move. And I'm tempted to move Bulldog. Well, it does mean we could then skittle out this way. Exactly. With Bulldog out of the way. Yeah. He's got four movement. So he's going to be here. One, two, three, four. Let's line them up. So Bulldog is investigating processors awareness chip. So that's those two now dealt with. And the final thing to do is patrol. Yeah, so hamster moves one to here, turns around and moves one to here. And that's hamster done. We've got an open and door then we next have, to a corridor. We have Radiohead who is going towards this space here. Right. Wow. Well, that's looking very different from than it was five minutes ago. So we're all done. That is the security units all moved. So we flip all of these over. And you've got to be very careful when you're flipping them over because they must maintain their, uh, their facing. Uh, we flipped over all of the awareness chips. Now we do activating the pings. We have no pings on the board. So we add a ping yep. and we roll the die. Uh, and threat goes up by one. Ooh, ouch. That triggers the intimidation security event, the threat event. So we add a level two guard. Threat's a real killer in this uh, corp. Yeah. Where do we want this to go? As far away as possible. Here or here? If, if we're planning to go to the surface elevator, then I think here. Yeah. Okay, it's, and another, I'll it's another hamster, but it's a level two hamster. So it moves quicker than a level one hamster. Do you have to pick the spot to. before you pick um, It doesn't say, but I think we can look at it and then decide where it goes. Are we going to run through this room or are we going to come around? I think go around. I'm not 100% sure. It's just... The, it's going to take two, two actions to take, yeah. yeah. With no keys. With no. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forgot to bring the keys. Yeah. Where do we think? Here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. Right. It's got move three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I think over there. Okay. And now, threat goes up by two. And unfortunately, no. we've now hit an escalation point. Now, escalation points are different from threat events. Threat events are one-off things that happen. Uh, escalation points are, as long as the threat marker is here, this is the rule. If the, th if the threat drops down below this marker, this is no longer the rule. So from now on... Each time an IP gets booted by a ping, we degrade an action chip in the burn cycle by rolling the burn cycle die. Okay, not going to happen. <laughs> we're going to protect ourselves. <laughs> right, I think we're all done. Yep. Back to you, root power. Rooting power. Um, now, 
I just want to have a look at this air horn as well. Yeah. Can I... Oh, no, we're not... To trade, we have to be adjacent, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, you carry on then. Yeah, trading is adjacent. Um, so I've got eight power, which is fine, but at the end of my turn, if I go on here and I clear it, we have met the objective. And the objective, once we've done it, means I get three power. So I kind of want to spend at least one. Yeah. Um... And I don't need the push ability because there is actually a clear route for me to get in. Yeah. Um, and well, we got we got these we got lots of yeah. extra stuff to get rid of this. But My burn what, cycle's looking sweet. What am I going to do after I've been in there? Move. So I think I do need the push. To get Not the, the push. Sorry. The swap. No. No. You can you can move bit. Oh, of course I can move bit for one and get it out of the way and then carry on moving. Yeah. We've disabled the floor. Yeah. And then we can sneak out the back. Sneak and out at the that back. point, the sensors are, are off. They're off. Is this guy going to see us? One, yes. two. Three, uh, four, no, it's five, ten, ten. ten, ten, ten. So yeah, he's going to see us as we come around here. Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, um, at the start of your turn, threat advances by one mm -hmm. if your awareness chip is in a hallway. That's a good point. So at the start of my turn, threat goes up by one. Yeah. Right, okay. So... Um, we need to get that thread down. Yeah. Really do. Um, do these stay here? They stay there until yeah, they land on them. Yeah, as soon as they've them. been investigated, as soon as a security unit enters that Reach space, it, they'll, yeah. they'll disappear. So that's going to happen on my turn as well. Yeah. What's the best way of getting threat down? <laughs> that, isn't it? Staying on layer two, I think. <laughs> or terminals. Right. right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna routing yeah. power. Yeah. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to spend one power to uh, have the repair ability. Okay, there we go. That's there. Um, protect bit. Those. That's the key. I'm also... Hmm. I'm also going to spend another two power to learn the reassign ability. So while I've got this ability... Uh, tech, physical, and utility inputs on keypad cards are ignored if there is a matching chip anywhere in the burn cycle. Because I think I'm going to be opening a lot more doors. Mm. Right. And this mod that I've got, although is nice, hmm. Move your to the next up clockwise. Where am I on there? I should have used my air horn in the last turn. Yeah? Yeah. What would it have done? Well, it would have taken my awareness chip out of the hallway. Okay. What is it? As a free action, you can place your agent's awareness chip on an adjacent space. Yeah. So you would have put it inside. Yeah. Did you want to do that? Nothing's changed since, has it? Have we revealed any? Well, it's we revealed hard. that guard, didn't we? Yeah, true. Um... I'm just thinking if it could benefit you, but you've got to stand next to me to trade with me, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. No, I think we're okay. Um, I am going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this mod for two power. Gone. Cool. There you go. Decided I didn't want it. <laughs> so, building my dice pool. Seven blue. One yellow. First action is an optimised move to move two spaces, but okay. I am going to spend two blue dice. Yeah. Got loads. Okay, so yeah. I've got five movement points. But you can move bit as part of that. Yeah. So I go one, two, now, that space is within the awareness of this. So that oh, awareness chip does yep. go in. Yep. But it only goes to there. Three. How many do I have? Five? Four, five. Okay. Yep, he's out of the way now. Right. Action two. Do you want to put your utility chip in there and optimise your keypad action? Or do I... Uh, no, because that's the wrong one. 
it's it's a tech chip for optimizing. No keep oh keypad yeah, yeah keypad yeah, yeah, tech. Utilities. Well, you, you, there's one there. I think we do. Yeah. So I'm going to put that in there. There you go. Like that. Ouch. Altering the burn cycle. Put that in, and I'm going to do an optimized terminal action, which is going to allow me to choose two of them, and I get the bottom one for free. And it's all free because it's a mainframe terminal. So basically, we get the card that we knew what it was. Mm. In fact, we should have been look, we should have been drawing extra cards when those moved in. But never mind. We oh, like, because of a, uh, we like this we card. like this card. This We're is just a gonna, good one. Yeah, we're keeping it. So I, I basically get to do all of these three for free. Yep. So we'll do the bottom one. Unlock a door of our choice. That one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll reduce threat by two. So that propaganda is now not happening. That should be there. Um, and I can move my IP to the next hub clockwise on its current network layer or on layer one if at your access point, gain the hub's benefit. So I think that means I can move all the way around and land on there and gain a power. <laughs> it's the next hub clockwise. It doesn't say that I can't go back to the, where I started. <clears throat> so we'll play it like that. Right, that's the terminal action, which means the floor sensors have been deactivated, which Brilliant. means we've actually achieved the the thing. Yeah. So I would have known that. Objective <laughs> met. Now we've just got to escape. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that thing. So we we, all, we both gained three power. Really? Yeah. Because... And I don't have to lose it. done it. Ah, uh, yeah. We gained three power. And you don't have to lose that power until the end of your turn. Correct, yeah. So yeah, I slightly miscalculated there. But you can. What's your max? Eight. Yeah. Well, I've, I I was on eight when I gained the three. All right. So yeah, I, I needed to spend one more. So you can upgrade some dice or something, can't you? Yeah. You got more actions yet? I do. Um. Right. So that was that done. So if we come over here, this door's open now. It is open, and the fl and the vibration sensors are off. But we're still in view yeah, of this. That's the problem. Bulldog, and also. This spot is in view of. Oh no, it's not. The walker's only got two. Yeah, well, but it, it's, it's one, in view of that. It's one. in view of that one. So, next action is. Yeah, I mean, you could go through the room, but then we're taking gambles, aren't we? Mm. And threat's not going lower. <laughs> well, threat is not going lower. Uh, it's up to you, mate. Yeah. I mean, you could. Uh, you could just move here and grab this air horn from me, but I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I can do this. Before I did that terminal action, because the card was visible, Yeah. not that one, but whichever terminal card it was, um, because it was visible and I knew what it was, we can say that just before that I did a free action, spend one power to repair that, Okay. and then I didn't waste the power. Right. Okay, slight undo there. It wouldn't be a live stream if I didn't do an undo. I mean, the other option is, I know it feels like a waste. You could switch this out and do two optimized moves and just do a leg it. It's only an extra two movement. It is. Well, we, we can do all my movement here and see what happens. Good plan. And see what we get. So I'm going to use all of these dice. I'm going to choose the move action. Okay, I've got two, <laughs> three, four. So that's six. Plus two is six. I could make it seven, seven if I wanted to. Six would get me one, two, three, four, five, six. Not even to there. Yeah. Bulldog would turn around. Hmm. And then it would move forward and it would come and hit me. And throw. Uh, Bulldog doesn't have any ability, so yeah, he's going to hit you for power. Yeah. Which I can take. It's just a lot. But I think that might be the best thing. The other option is... Using all your movement mm -hmm. to get a bit further up. He's only one space further down the road, isn't he? Yeah. Because Bit can take... No. Two, yeah, Bit can spaces. take keypad actions. But I'm better at taking keypad actions. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, I think three, I'm going to go for it. Six, I, I am going to move two, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. And then be here. One, two, three, four. Detected by Bulldog. Yeah. Five, six, seven, still detected by Bulldog. Yeah. So even though I've got rid of the vibration sensors, Bulldog can see all of this, is aware of all of this stuff. 
Okay. And there's no way, yeah, now that Elhorn could help you. But there's no way I could get it to you. No. Right, so this is what's happening, is I've rushed out of here, gone round here, and now it is my fourth action, and I'm going to try a keypad action, which is not optimised, because it's green. But let's see what we get. Or a die roll. It's the die roll of nervousness. Okay, now that's actually good for me because of my ability. My reassign ability means physical. tech, physical, and utility inputs on keypad cards are ignored using uh, during accesses keypad actions if a matching chip exists anywhere in the burn cycle, which it does. Awesome. So that's ignored. The door is opened. And I move in. You're very good at opening doors. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> and your awareness chip comes with you because, because Bulldog can five, see. Yeah, Bulldog can see that other side space. of the door. I worry now because they're going to come and block this door off for us. Wow. Anyway, we're not there yet. Um, um, I think that's it for my network action. So network step. I've got purple green. Purple green. Now. That's great, isn't it? You it can, is. You can knock him off. Yeah. So purple, I will go to there. Green, I'll go to there. Then purple, I'll go to here. Yeah. We have a bit of a fight. I'm two, it's one. So I lose a, uh, a network level, but that gets booted. I get all of the benefits of this, which is increase network level by one, reduce threat by one, gain one power, which is... <laughs> Yeah. So before I do that, I'll heal. <laughs> I'll spend that power to heal because I knew that was going to happen. Get the power back, and then I go back here. So whenever you get to the middle, you get all the benefits and go back to the start. And then I've got green, which moves me to there. Yeah, I've gained a silly amount of power this turn. Okay. Yeah, you can root power now. And now, after the network step, now I can root power, and I need to root at least two. So I am going to route two, and I am going to have. Um, I'm going to have another advanced die, because that's easier for me to understand. Right, I think I'm done. So just to clarify, repair. Oh, sorry, repair is a general action, not a free action. Okay, I missed that earlier on. Thank you very much. I'll pop it down on three. Okay. There we go. Right, so repair is a yeah. It's not a free action. It, it's one of the general actions. You have to use a okay. chip. I have I have undone that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And what I was going to say, repair, you don't have to be adjacent. You don't you have repair to be adjacent. Yeah. Dis distant okay. uh, fellows. All right, then. Oh, we've also got a surveillance bead. We which do. We forgot to resolve. Um, Oops. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> gosh, yes. Oh, that's gain of power. All right. Which I probably you couldn't would do. have then lost. Yeah. You yeah. also have the uh, assess intent, which is allowing you to look at the top of that and keep it if you want to keep it. Yeah. We always miss these things. You put two in this room know. to make it bigger. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to put... Not that we're going to go in these rooms now, but... <laughs> yeah. Keep forgetting the surveillance beads. We do. We do. I think I'm done. Wow. Oh, no. Degrading the burn cycle. You've I'm not it. done. <laughs> no. And if you... Re you're down to eight, right? Yeah. Awesome. There's a lot of moving pieces. There is. Yeah. But... The first few times you play this, you're bound to miss something. Yeah. But it's all good fun. All good fun. Right, back to me. So, threat goes up one. So, Scott's saying I would have had two more power to root. Uh, no, it just means I would have lost it because I kept hitting the... Yeah, you've maxed out it. I kept hitting the 10. Yeah. I've mismanaged my power. Yeah. Right, so yeah, your go. Um, threat goes up by one because there's a... Because your awareness chip is there. In the... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. The vibration sensors are not on. The vibration sensors are not on. Nice. You disabled them. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. Good news. All right. So root power. I've got nine power, so I do want to root at least two of it. Is there anything that can help us speed along? We can switch. I've got realization matrix, which allows me to switch um, a chip in the burn cycle. Uh, 
No, a chip in the reserve with a chip in... I don't, we want that one there. Mm. We could also buy another one of these. That's going to cost five. It's four. It's expensive, but... Or we could prep for floor two. So... Can I do anything to help? No, repairs are general action, so I can't give any power to um, Bit, can I? Um, let's think, let's think. I could advance a die. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to spend two power, two power and give myself a yellow die. Yep. Okay. Dice pool then is seven blue and one yellow. We do want to upgrade before we um, move up that floor. Yeah. Um, and it would be nice to see an elite die, wouldn't it, at some point? Yeah, they are nice. Um, repair, I don't have... So this repair here... Mm -hmm. That allows you to do the... The, the general, the general repair, repair action. action. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I've got is alteration matrix. Um, I can change a chip in the supply for a chip in the... Um, uh, in the burn cycle for chip and supply. Okay. Now, do I want to ch do I want to put that physical one in there? I think I do, don't I? Yeah. We want to move like I crazy, so. like crazy yeah. devils. So we're going to alter the burn cycle first thing. First action. Right. Movement. And um, we want you're in the way of the door. Unless I go around. Uh, or you swap me out. Or I swap me. Yeah. I'm happy to take the hit. One, two, three, Not four. Or we just go around. I don't have to come in this room. I could scoot could in there. In. What I'm thinking is getting bit to safety is my priority. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. Well, I can do eleven with those. I know this. So happy. Let's get bit in that lift. Sure. Now we haven't scouted ahead and seen where that lift's going to come out, have we? No. <laughs> We could, but <laughs> we could. So we because uh, well, as long as bit stays in the thing, then he's, he's all right. Yeah. Safe. Ugh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You putting those back in your pool? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Nine. No, I'm not putting the ball. I'm. I'm going to keep them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's what I'm thinking. If you're going to move again, just you use... might as well keep the two blanks here. Yeah, might as well. Because then you'll roll them and you'll get better results potentially next time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Yes, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all I had, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh no, you had eight. Do what? Um, yeah, <laughs> what Mark suggested. And then I had two spare ones on there. Two from the optimization. Bit was there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good. I think so. Okay. Uh, second action. Second action, taking two. Two upgrade cards. So you can take a network card because it's optimized, yeah. and then you can do an unoptimized action. So I could move again. You could move again, but this time, if you're going to move here, there's no point. Well, I can move me over. Don't forget, you can also optimize one action per turn. Wow. Yeah, it's give me another. I'll take another okay, network there you card. Go. Third oh, action. The both layer ones. Well, that might not be bad. Okay, I'm going to move again. Optimise move. There you go. So you've actually got four. One, two, three, four. Right, he's in. So Bit's going into a safe zone. Now we yeah. do need to move I think bits. I did have another movement. Bit's awareness chip. Yes, that's so very true. Here. Right outside the door. Yeah. Now I just need to read the rules on safe zones while you're continuing your turn. Okay. Last one. So I want to take an optimised network action again. Uh, 
So safe zones are rooms surrounded by a yellow border that provide unique benefits. Um, we must all occupy them after we've completed our objectives. Uh, when entering a safe zone while detected, bots will leave their awareness chip outside the door, even if a security unit would otherwise spot them passing through the door. So safe zones break the rule on the awareness through doors. Yeah. So if that was a normal door into a room, Bulldogs have got five. One, two, three, four, five. It would have seen it. But as it is, the awareness chip stays there. Yeah, we've got conflicting views on the chat, but I've, yeah, you're reading the rules. So, yeah. like, that's, that's, what rules that's what the rules <laughs> say. Yeah, outside the room. Okay, yeah, awareness does not follow into safe zones. So yeah, safe zones break the rule about awareness through doors. Now I do have my air horn, which I could use. It says until the end of the of the round, security has no awareness of my agent. So if I do decide to turn this into an optimized move. Well, it's only going to put me here anyway. So I think actually I'm going to save it. Yep. And take two more. Two more network cards. Yeah, doing the thing. Let's try and get this. Let's try and get this. Okay. Is there anything here that lets me lower the threat? So we've got wipe locations file, gain a key from the supply. We've got draw a mod card. Destroy the closest wall to your agent. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's not going to help. <laughs> and discard any guard in play. So we could... But that increases threat. Um, with a guard from the supply that is the same level. Oh, right. Swap one. Just swap right, one. okay. Or one level lower. Right. So we could get rid of Bulldog, for example. Mm-hmm. Or... Hamster? No. It's a lower, lower hamster's one. So, any of those take your fancy? A key? Keys are always good. Um, discard any gar from play. Is a level two purple. All right. Well, let's. Um, I'm just wondering. Do I go? Well, I can use the first one to get to the middle, right? I think that's the best way to lower threat. Um. Yeah, you can, can't you? So you arrive in the middle, network level goes up by one, threat goes down by one, and you gain a power. And then you arrive back here. Okay, second one is green. Right. So, green is going to get me here. Network level goes up to three. Then purple. Purple level two will allow me to discard a guard. Purple level one doesn't help me, and I can't get to blue. Do we want to replace a level two guard one with a level one guard? What are we going to be doing on our next turn? Racing to the left. Which lift? Elevator, sorry. Yeah, the, the service elevator over there. Yeah. So we've got that, which is going to go there, and then we can just get past it and in. So I don't think we need to replace any guards. I mean, yeah, Bulldog's going to be a problem, but if, we, if we've if we got so many movement points... What about that dude? He only moves two. He's so slow. Yeah. Okay. Destroy the closest wall. We don't want that either. No. So I'm just going to try and head for red. I think yeah. is the poem of the day. So I'm going purple here. And red here. Purple there, and then red there, which reduces threat. Threat is down to three. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Network boss. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Degrade the burn cycle. Number one. Oh, that's a real shame. Yeah, that is a shame. <laughs> that is horrible. Okay, Corp. Corp, corp's turn. First of all, do we have any detected bots? Um, yes, me. I am a detected bot. Because my awareness chip is on, you. is on me. So which is the closest bot to me? I'm afraid it is Mr. Bulldog. So maybe did we did want to swap it? Never mind. <laughs> mm. uh, so it moves towards me. So it moves one, two, three, and then bashes me. And I lose two power. Ouch. Yeah. We've also got this drain that we need to be very careful about, but I think we've been alright. Well, yeah, it's been held. It's stuck behind. Uh, yeah. 
the drone. Uh, so that is the pursuit on me done. So now we do investigate. This awareness ship is still in play, as is this one. Oh no, hang, uh, yeah, so we have to do pursuit First. before investigation. That's a shame. But the one that's investigating this is easy. It's this one. Because this is the nearest one. And that takes priority we're looking for doors. Yeah, but effectively it's the same. Yep. We move it one, we move it two, yep. and then that. That's so all it's trying to do is get there and then it will remove that once it gets it. there. Yeah. Okie doke. And then right. this one needs to be investigated, which is this one. So it moves one, two, not there anymore. That's that done. Yeah. And I'm going to use my air horn to act as a distraction to let me leg it. Right. And now patrols. So that one moves two spaces that way. This one moves three does he spaces that does way. Does he turn? And flips over, but I wasn't going to bother because it's that one, that one, and that one. Now does he turn facing? Oh, sorry. Yes, it was. Yeah. And then this one moves four, following the right-hand wall. So it goes one, two. Can't get any further. Pretty far. And then three, four, and then turns that way. These two are meeting each other. <laughs> okay. I think yeah, that's right. Because he's following this wall. Okay, look. And then they all flip over. And then we do. Does this guy have to face this way now? I think so, yeah. They turn away from the, the wall. way that it will be going next. Yeah, I think so. Um, no, when it moves, it will. But for now, he's looking for at. For now, I think it, it stayed there, and that's where he's it, looking out the window. Stopped. Okay. Yeah. Activate pings are on no. There are no pings. We're doing so a again, job. yeah, we are doing a very good job here. Ah, threat level goes up by one, <laughs> so it's two. Oh, sorry, not threat, threat level. Yeah. Network level goes up by one, and all pings that can yeah. transfer outwards do transfer, Seems which is none of them. Okay, nice. Advanced threat by two. Threat goes up by two. It's at five. Next round. Okay, okay. so what's our plan? Bit is safe. Okay. So Central says guards don't block each other. So he thinks this one would have walked into this one. Guards don't block each other. Okay, so how does that work then? So the walker. This walker was. Would have gone doink, doink, rot, turn okay. here. But one, two, three, so four. So two spaces back. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. I assume they can't end the same space. They walk over like that. Okay. Yeah, right. And what would happen if they ended on. Yeah, the, what would happen if they ended on the same space? It right. Move one forward, don't know. Right. So, my go. Rooting power. power. Well, I'm down to six. Um, but what is our plan? Is our plan to get to the safe zones this turn? Yeah, definitely. So, I just need to run away, open this door. You've got lots of actions. There. You've got a utility chip that will help you through that door, but you, it's in the wrong spot. It is in the wrong spot. But it does give you an extra action. It gives us an extra action. I might as well alter the burn cycle. Because we're close. I mean, yeah, we're close. Yeah, it's, it's your movement that is the concerning thing. Yeah, because I'm... Well, I've got... Um, I've got eight power. Okay. Oh, we'll see. Now... Dice pool. D repair. I can't repay you above... Seven. Seven, I don't think. Okay. Otherwise, I could have given you ten. But you could repair on this I as can. a general action. Yeah. You let's, can just, let's just check bit. on repair. 41. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Because if I can put you up to 10, see repair actions, page 7. Repair actions. Once a bot has activated, yeah, it bots made dead, dead, dead. Cannot bring it above 10. So I can give you energy to put you at 10. You can use that energy to buy extra dice to give you extra movement. Or do you want to do you want to just take the opportunity of repairing bits? Yeah, I'm thinking of trying to give you as much as we can. Which is just give me loads to, of to movement. To get you out. And have you got enough to get there? You have. You got loads of dice, right? You got six. I think so. I'm not well, rooting I'm power. That, that's the question. Is I'm rooting power? No. Building dice pool. Okay. Six blue, two yellow. Right. First action is this one, which I am not going to use. Yep. You're just going to do a... Uh, oh, we had this, didn't we? We had that. So I'm going to move. Yeah, just move. And I'm going to use this. You don't want to use that action to repair. No, you want to move. Do 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 your thing first. Yeah, because I want to do Get, a terminal need... action here, Yeah. which will unlock that door. You only want to, you only want to do a repair at the end if you've yeah. gotten yourself into a safe space. 
Okay, so I've got four movement, which is... Perfect. Oh, I can go through the equipment. I get an equipment card. Do you want it the is a key. Do you want that one or do you want to go here? I want the terminal. You want the terminal. I found a key. So that oh, gets, nice. That gets discarded. <laughs> Could I have an orange chip, please? You can. So there we go. I have a key. Well, that's going to help us next time. That's that guy. Well, it's going to help you get out oh, of so there. There was the orange chip. <laughs> um, two wasted movement points. Bit's going to walk around a bit. Yeah. Second action is I'm going to choose the terminal, terminal. action on here. Yeah. It's optimized, so I get to do two of these, and I get to do the bottom one for free. Nice. If I want to do two of these. Unlock a door of your choice. Uh, my awareness ship should not be going with me. My awareness ship should stay there. Yeah, definitely. Um, they can't see through doors like that. Uh, so awareness doesn't extend outside their own area, right? with the exception of seeing something move through a door. A door. They're not glass doors. So that's quite nice, reducing the network's level by one. That one is also quite nice, but I don't think at the moment that's actually going to be that useful. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to attempt the top one. And I'm going to use I'm going to a dice. A yellow and a blue. A yellow and a blue. You could just end up with a one. Or I could just, because it's not essential. Fifty-fifty chance. Sixty-six. There's only two ones on here. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to try the top one. Got it. Yeah. So net, uh, CEO's network level has gone back down to one. And then because of my special ability, I'm going to do the bottom one for free and unlock that door. And uh, that's my card gone. OK. Thank you for the help in the chat, keeping us honest with the, uh, <laughs> with the rules. Yeah. Well, oh, they displace like in Cloud Spire. Oh, so what would have happened is the walker would have moved to their displacing it. They would have come back, displacing Displaced it, it again. again. Right, okay, got it. Now you can run. Terminal chip is gone. Unless you want to go here. No, 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 no. no. Right, movement. I'm using these four, yep. and it's optimised, yep. so I've got an extra two. It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> Come on. It's oh! not going to happen. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five movement points. That hamster's, the hamster's not going to get me. No, but you can see. So one, two, three. I've been spotted. Four. Not spotted. Five. Nice. I didn't want you to get five anyway, you'd block this door. There's and no then way. here I'm going to Are we gonna do it? It does mean that I'm actually gonna be quite short on power going into the next thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I could do a strike. Seven. You need 15. No, but I could do a, a, a... Oh, you could push him. I can push him. So ah, right, and you could just run in here. Yes, I think that's... That's probably quicker. Seven. Does push cost anything extra? Yeah, it one extra. Actually, it's not quicker, is seven, it? Seven, eight, no. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, yeah. fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It would be seventeen if you didn't push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen to there. It's the same. But here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. So, no, it's no quicker through there. No. Because I have to push that bulldog out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, and upgrade. Eight dice. But it doesn't matter if you do it, because I'm not in there. No, so it's going to be another turn anyway. Yeah. So I think I won't route any power. I mean, the only benefit of... I mean, one thing I could do is run into this room... So 
So I'm going to. It's my turn, right? No, no. It, it's it's whether. Oh, or not you're I deciding am. whether we I'm want to do that. Deciding whether to repair your it as an action, action. And I don't think I am. So the I'm only other do, thing you could do is repair bit. I could, but I'm then I'm short on power. Yeah. So I think I'm okay. When we move floors, do you power stay where it is? Yeah. So I'm going to do an optimized uh, network card action. Okay. And then a normal network card action. Okay. Right. Okay. So network. Blue green, purple green. Blue green, purple green. What have you got? Blue three, purple two. Purple two. What? Don't want the purple two. The blue. The blue three is quite nice. It's getting a key. What have we got? Blue green, purple green. Blue, blue green, green, purple green. Purple. Oh. It's not getting any key, but actually that's quite nice. You have to get to the blue on the. Um, yeah, you have to get to the blue on your first one. <laughs> first go one. blue, green, purple, green. Yeah. It's tricky because that hub's in the way. So blue would get me to there or there. Yeah. Green would then get me to there or there. Or there. And then purple would get me to there or there. Yeah. That would give you the purple and then green two. Green will get me. Yeah, no. So that will give you purple two. That's just destroyed the wall closest to you. Meh. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, blue to there, gaining a network level. Uh, green to there. Purple to there. And then green to there, gaining one power. Super. Now I degrade the burn cycle. We've kept this burn cycle up alive a lot. Yeah, I don't know how we've done that. Root power. You didn't want a root power. No. No. Go. Okay, you'll go. And this is the benefit of two player, right? You can keep the burn cycle alive. Mm -hmm. Right, my turn. Though in solo, you would have a lot more chips. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do root one power and gain push. Yep. Just in case. We've run out of chips now, right? You've Yeah, you've got a key. i got a key. But other than that, we are all out of... Our reserves are empty. Okay, seven blue. So we're going to be rebooting the burn cycle soonish anyway. Yeah, seven blue. But if we can do this... Yeah, we are. Three, four, five, six, seven, and a yellow. Okay. Actions. So I'm on a utility, which I don't need. So it's going to be an... Are you going to use your ability? Yeah. I'm going to use my ability. So you're going to treat this as if it was purple? Yeah, I'm going to treat that as a purple. And just throw all the dice. Yep. So, reminding everyone, imitation matrix. Once per turn, I can optimise an action using a non-matching chip in the burn cycle. Oof. No Ooh. twos in there. No twos. But you take the blanks back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just two is eight. Hmm. Do I want to finish in the room and probably optionally go for that? If I'm not going to make it, at least I can go for a chip. I'm not going to make it with this left. You're not going to make it. So, so yeah. I might just do the push. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it costs seven, seven to eight. move in here yeah. and an extra one to push him away. Yep. Yeah. Um, before I do that though, I'm going to use my air horn as a free action. You need to. Well, it just means they won't chase after me. But if it's pushed out of the way... I'm going to run into that room. Yeah. Won't he come in after me? No, so yeah, but the awareness chip will go here. You will then move over here. So yeah. you won't be detected, but you'll be investigated and it will move to there. Yeah, and then I'll do it next time. And then you'll go on. So I don't think you need it. Okay, so... This is going to be here with me. Uh, it's going to see you go through the door when you go through the door. But right now it's there. Yeah. 
Bang. I'm keeping that. Second action. Two g- green. Two lovely network cards. <laughs> Twist. Twist. All right. Now I'm going to do an optimized move with these two dice. Okay. We might need to move your microphone again, I'm afraid. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, the... I've got an excited devil. Pop it on the... Um... I'm all right there. I'm okay. I think I'm pop okay. Pop it up on the bit where your things cross. I'll just turn your microphone off a bit. There. That'll do it. Right, I'm be breathing on Should there. do it. I'll be breathing. Should do it. All right. There's no thoughts, okay. So that's just one with a two. One with a plus two, so three movement. One, One two, two three. three. With your awareness chip staying Stuck there because there, it saw you go through the door. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't quite make it. And then that's it for the. I can take a free action if I wish. Uh, well, it's degraded. It's degraded. So it's nothing. And we can't replace it. No. So. End of. Okay. End of. Network. Network. You got blue, green, purple. Where am I? here. So a three blue would immediately allow me to do this. Gain power. Oh, that's quite nice. Green one. I'm not going to get to green one. Or I could go, and I'm not going to get to green one that way. Purple. Yeah. I'm not going to get to green one. So... I mean, you get to blue three with your first action, with your first move. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Blue. So what have you got? Roll an advanced action die from the supply. So that's a yellow. Advanced is red. That's no, elite. Advanced is yellow. Elite, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to gain power equal to the rolled amount. Nice. Two. Two power. Beautiful. Is that gone? Okay, then we've got green, which is that one. And then purple is either here or here. Do I want to go here? They're going to whack. What happens if they whack me? Well, no, what will happen is it will move around. Yeah. And then you compare the le- network levels and, and you I'll win. hit him. And he, you boot him out. Yeah. So. Or I go here. And then next time. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Back. No, I'm going, I'm going there. Okay. Okie doke. There you go, Paul. Thank you very much. Um, root power. So I need to spend at least two. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to. I could get repair. Or I could get a cheeky chip ready for next time. Yeah, I'm not sure about these. I'm not sure about these. I don't think they're going to help These special abilities are very situational, depending on which uh, mission you're playing. It might be that you've got ones which are actually not that great for this mission. So let's repair. Let's let's take repair. Okay. And I got one left to spend, and I was, I'm going to go down to um, six and take another yellow die. Correct. So you just move the pip along one. I just move the pip along one. There you go. Nice. Yeah, so I'm, I've lost the power, but I've gained two dice. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Um, degrade degrade the burn cycle. We Question choose. mark. All right, well. We don't want to degrade the physical one, do we? No, we get rid of the blue one. one. The blue. So, yeah. Okay. Corporation's turn. Security unit. Anyone in pursuit? Do we have any anyone? detected bolts? One, two, no, we don't. We do not. So, Investigation. investigation. We can do this one first. This one's quite easy. Yep. It moves to there, but it's not there. Done. Uh, that one moves to there, and you're not there, so that's done. However, you're now there. It now sees you. I think that's right. I think it moves to the chip. I don't think it then carries on moving. This is this is where Mark will help us. Yeah, because he's got two movement well, left. It does have two movement left, but I think once its destination has been set... The destination doesn't change if it then is aware of something during its move. Uh, I think its destination do, does change. I know it was one of the things that was changing as I was writing the rules for the game. <laughs> so I can't remember exactly where the rules ended up. But this is one of the finer points of the game. Um, so investigating, moving. Um, once the security unit has been investigated, it will attack all detected bots it's adjacent to. 
Uh, flip it over. Once each unit's investigated, pick the next awareness chip. A bot can be detected while not being within a security unit's awareness chain. No, it's not that. Mark will tell me if I got it right. Mark, you there. Uh -huh. yeah. Security unit moves onto a space occupied by another security unit. They've swapped space. Ah, that was a bit familiar. Security units cannot move through bots. Um, so he's hit our awareness chip. He's got two movement left. Does he get rid of this? Or does he spot me and keep moving? Is the question. Let's have a look and see what the learn to play guide says. Because the rules are written in a slightly different way. Did you hear that? So I'll do that again. We moved. Bulldog moved. He went. He's got full movement. One, two. Do we move this here and have him move three? So we find the closest security unit to the awareness chip and we move it towards the awareness chip yep. and onto it if possible. Which you've done. If the security unit is adjacent to any detected bot after moving, it attacks all of those bots. And then you flip the security unit chip over. There's nothing about if it gets a new target, then it it changes its mind. Right, we've got spots you and keeps moving. Oh, right, right. okay. It makes more sense, I think. It makes more thematic sense. I'm just trying to and then it's going understand to hit, hit how it's written in the rules. And then hit me for two? Yeah. Two blue? Two blue. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Should have honked me horn. Should have, yeah. I, I didn't, <laughs> well, I didn't think they were the rules. No, 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 you made good. I thought yeah, it fine. would investigate there and then it would stop. And if I'd have known that it wasn't like that, no, then, that's all right. yeah, we'd have done the horn thing. We'll save it for the next level. We'll save it for the next level. Right, Mark's going to get me a page. Thank you, Mark. It will continue to moving towards the awareness chip. It chose to move to, even if the awareness moves. Right. Mm. Maybe it's another. So, for example, it moves in there. There's another awareness chip over here then it'll from somebody else. Yeah, then I don't think it will then go for that one as well, even if it had movement left. Right. But if it, what Mark's saying is if, if the awareness chip that it was moving towards moves. Yeah. So have we got any other? Yes, we've got this. Yep, that's you. So hamster's heading that way. So hamster comes two towards me, which it would have done anyway. And that's that. Then we've got patrols. Then we've got patrols. So which one do we want to do? Because this is going to get into a right mess here. <laughs> um, well, let's just do the easy. We one, do the easy one. One, two, two turn around, come three. back, three. So that's that one done. Yeah. This Walker one's... is next and goes... Or you can have this one go next and switch places with it. That's probably better, isn't it? So, one, one two, two, three, three, then turns to face me, yep. And then Walker goes one, two, three, four, switching places with that one and that one. Yeah. Voila. Okay. Now, when they switch places, do they change facing? I assume the facing doesn't change. Yeah. Because that would get... Even more complicated. Defo. Right. Okay. Activate pings. So this guy. We have a ping on the network, so it moves three, but it stops when it hits you. Yep. You are three, it's, it's one. one. So you lose a network level, and that gets booted back to there. Okay. And that's it. Because there were pings on the network, they move. We then roll dice, um, and if we don't roll dice, we transfer out all existing pings. Yep. Advanced threat. Threat goes up by two. Propaganda is hit again. So each time an IP gets booted by a ping, yeah. But we're on top of that. We we're are keeping an on top of that. Bosses. Right. My go. So we've got no reserve chips left in the team. Okay. We've got no personal reserve chips left. So the burn cycle is going to be rebooted at some point. Yes. Now you have push. Oh, you don't need push. You just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movement, and you're in. Yeah, but I've uh, I've got four blue and two yellow. Mm -hmm. So I'm short on power. Yeah. So if you get in there, you could then repair and chuck chuck me some power. I could. But I don't know. Do if you I'm, not think you'll I get the seven? Yeah, I think I'll get. You're going to plus. Oh uh, no, one of these is going to go. One of these is going to. So you're going to get plus two, and you need one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to need seven, so you need five movement points. Ah, I'll do it. 
You got yeah. two yellow dice and four blue? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Let's see how it goes. So my first action is this, and I'm going to draw two network cards. Beautiful. And then I've got a physical action, and I use my... F oh, I've got my dice pool. <laughs> 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 which which I don't need because I'm no oh no I do need you it. do need but I'm going to roll two yellow and seven blue and all I need is one right so let let's just let's just see I, do I get one yes I got one only just look at that wow worst roll ever but you got bones which are two bones I mean, is a two bones is a is move. a plus one poison damage on <laughs> that's it so okay I in. Mean, um this would actually be there yeah. Um, he's got one, two, three. You can see in the door. Would actually be there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking that might, because when it moved to there, it would have seen me. So it might have turned to see me. Because it, its next movement would have taken it in that direction. It could have gone that way. Uh, well, the closest way to me would be... And now it would. Yeah, so as soon as it moved there, because it's got peripheral of three... It would have seen me there. You were standing there. Oh, right? I was there. One, yeah. two, three. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah it's going to be academic. But it still, it still sees me. It's got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. D d d d d uh, network. Network. So I've got green followed by purple. And then no pings on there. Where am I? You're on a red. Mm. You're going to miss me. You're going to hit the middle one. Am I? Yeah. Green. Oh, yeah. And then... Awesome. Purple. So green, and then I play my cookies card. Yep. Green three. Skip the ping activation step this round. Lovely, okay. chaply. Um, and then purple is... The, skip that one all the way around here. Network on four. Gain a power. And reduce threat by one. <laughs> nice. We're doing really well on the network. Uh, yeah. And then I go back to the start. Okay, and then I degrade the burn cycle. Root power if you want to. Oh yeah, root power. I'm at eight. You can't share it, because that's a repair. But you could upgrade the... Um... I could. I think eight's okay. Because I, I, I think we need to see what's happening on the next floor. We're not going to get any power switching floors. Yep. So then it's all there ready for next time. Perfect. Burn cycle, slot three is gone. And you know we're going to need it, right? Yeah. You'll go. Oh, <laughs> you didn't do that one, did you? Oh, I've got my ability. You've got your ability. I've got perfect. my ability. Right, so root power. You're not rooting power. I'm not, because I've only got four. Dice pool. Four blue, two yellow. I'm going to take... Using my ability and optimise... Optimise this as move. One, two... Done. Done. Okay, so... Can I go via this crate? Possibly, yeah. One, two, three. So that would be... Well, that's free to get there and there. It's free to get there and there. Yeah, what, you got plenty. What have we got? Have I got space? Yeah, I've got space. It says a nitro shot. This equipment... Oh, it's another one. Once per turn as a free action, we roll this die... And move your agent up to... It's the one we had this morning. It was, yeah. Uh, dice number four. Sweet. So you're right, your equipment limit. So normally, folks, you'd place it down here, yeah. and the dice would go in the one they, of these They would slots. normally go here. I'm just going to stick it over here. All right. Now we've got... Um, one... Two, three, four, two, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, and then... We're and in. We're in. And it sees you go in. I think you're on there, but you can, you can go can here. It doesn't matter because we can move around when we get to a new floor. Can you? Yeah. Right. And then immediately... Net network step. No, it's at the end of the turn. Oh, really? So we do your network step first. Okay. Which is green. So then we have to degrade the burn cycle and as well. And then we degrade the burn cycle. Okay. So network is a green, which is a green. Yeah. Um, and then degrade the burn cycle, which is that one. Yeah. And then we skip floors. Yeah. And then we're going to have to reboot the burn cycle straight away. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's so do it. we are changing floors. 
So what happens is we remember that processor and access are in that one, and we remember that bit's in this one. Right. We then remove everything else. Guards all go. Yep. If there were any guards in a safe zone, they would they would go up with us to the next floor, which is which is bad. Stop us now if we're doing anything that we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, get discarded, right? Those will get discarded. Yep. Uh, and then we build the next floor. Cool. Go make yourselves a cup of tea. Well, yeah, well, I'm going to need a. I'm going to need a small comfort break. So, <laughs> if you want to build the next floor while I go for a comfort break, um, the floor plan book is here for Bio Defend Floor Two. Um, anything that has a star next to it yeah. means it's already oh, on the board. Sweet. So you don't have to go and get it. And if it doesn't have a star next to it, it's in. It's in this pile here. And um, we automatically. Do we automatically? No, we don't. Do the burn cycle when we move up. We don't nope, do it. No, nope, that's a completely so separate thing, but it is just happening that we're both doing them at the same time. Yeah. So that stays there. Right. Uh, this moves. Where the no, that stays there. Um, but this will come off and be replaced by that one, but that safe zone is that safe zone. Okay, okay. So all of the tiles that don't have a star next to them are new ones which are over in that pile there. Got it. Right, I will be back in a minute. Uh, you don't need to remove the bots because their elevators are always on the next floor. It was for those two, but for this one, it's a different. Yeah, it's a different it's tile. A different tile. So, oh, you mean the actual elevator, elevator? Oh, yeah, okay. So what Mark's saying is the elevator is always the same. Yeah, we can stay there. Right, I will be back in a minute. And you've still got a key. I do still have a key. Yeah. Right, while he's gone, what should we do? Should we mess his room up? This is number one game. I'll put it in my bag. Where's number eight? Do they have number there's eight number eight. Oh there it is. One of these two. So this is exactly the same, everyone. This, and we're just going to rebuild to look like this. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, number six is that one. Is my mic still um still still his weather machine? Yeah, exactly. Um. Is my mic still rustling, or are we good now? Ten's still going. Stairwell stays. I think that one's going. I think that one's going. I saved a bit for you to do. I know. I know you like doing maps. Number four. Were there any with stars on? Yeah, I do love me maps. So, which bit have you left me? No, I was only joking. Num <laughs> number four. That's that one. That goes outside. Look, there's a balcony or something. There we go. You can double check I'm doing this right. Okay. If you like. Then we got a number one, which is this one. That's no longer open. Oh, don't read the comments. They said all sorts of rude things about Did you they? while you were gone. Yeah, you typical. That's there. Number five. And then we're nearly there. Server room. All right. Not it. Oh, no, we're missing, we're missing a bit. Yeah. The storage room. What which it was on the previous level. It's 3B3. Oh, the square. Uh, there we are. 
Let me find a get rid of those open doors. Yeah. So bits making sure so bits connected. She's done a little hack and opened up these safe way yep. doors. That's all the same. And as mentioned earlier, the objectives for this level are exactly the same. Are there any blank spaces that we've missed? The entryway is it. Just to cover up that space. Okay. Okay. Right. So there should be ten terminals and eight equipment caches. Eight equipment caches? Yeah. Are the, have the guards got keys this time? Uh, we will, Yes, they do. Uh, the, again, the guards are based on the captain rather than the mission. How many guards we got then? Uh, oh, loads. <laughs> BioDefend has a lot of guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So equipment caches mm. should be eight. Right, well, I've got eight, but that won't leave, right, okay. that won't leave enough keys for the guards. Uh, I've got some here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there can't be that many. One, two, three, eight. four. Oh, there are that many. Okay, so guards. According to tracks security detail, um, on floor two, the number one hallway spaces, which is here, have a level two guard. Just the one. With a key. So we have a hamster, which goes there. Okay. On the level two spaces, sorry, on the number two spaces, we have a level one guard with a key. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we're not going to have enough keys. Doesn't matter because. Um... What happens if you run out of keys? That well, is the question. And on the number three spaces, we have level two guards. And they, we, we won't give those keys because there's no way we're going to take their keys from them. No. But Shannon, give us more keys. Yes, more keys, please. <laughs> right, we also need Thank the you, Scott. surveillance beads. So one in there, two in there, one in there. Is it these little yeah. hexes? One yeah. there. One, oh, that's it. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, more of them. They're actually little um, dies, aren't they? His little die icon, little yeah. Little white dies. That one in there. That one in there. Everywhere. No mandatory guards on this floor. So nothing fixed in rooms. And then we need the captain. Because the captain is normally on the highest floor. Yeah. But. In this scenario, it will tell you where the captain starts. So we need to find the captain's chip, uh, which is... Where is track? Track. Here we go. I'll give you that for okay. your track. Uh, no, we need that, because the corporation's... Oh, we... Yeah, that's, that's there. Do we, but we don't we skip the rest of this round? Not quite. Well, it's going to skip its next... It says this round... Don't we conclude this round and begin a new round? Sort of. I think it still applies. I don't think that should say... It's your game. Round. It's your yeah, ball. I think, <laughs> I think this should say the, skip the next ping activation step of the corporation okay. or, the, or skip the ping activation step of the corporation's next turn. Maybe. Okay. I think. It is a good question to ask. Um, you don't need uh, no surveillance bead in the tech room at the top of the screen. Yep, there is. There's one there as well. Yeah. So yeah, first question is what happens if we run out of keys and we're just going to say that we'll just give them to the ones that we can. Um, and yeah, so where does the captain start? It should say... Okay. There. Floor two, when the captain comes into play... Oh, right. So it doesn't start in play. It doesn't. How does it come into play? Okay, res when we complete the, the, the objective, objective yep. place the captain on hallway security post three of the team's choice. So one of those three spots. Okay, one of those three spots, that's where the captain will appear so, once we've once we've yeah. done the thing. Isn't it just that one? There's only one three spot, isn't uh, it? Oh no, there's two. 
There's two of them, those two. So right. somewhere outside the uh, utility area. Okay. He's a, yeah. And again, our objectives are okay. the so same there is, as before. Yeah, pretty much. So there's a special rule. When the captain comes into play, we can ignore that because it says if he's got this um, his patrol with a crown, crown yeah, which we don't. Which we don't have. So we'll ignore that. So each bot has to enter the server or the control room. So let's find those guys. Control Ser room? Server. Server room, right, okay. Um, so we've got to get all three of us in there. And then we've got to disable one of them. So it's exactly the same, yeah. Yeah. And then, then when that happens, the captain comes in and we've then got to leg it to R&D. R which is here. And make sure all IPs are on layer three or four. Yeah. That's our IPs. Um, and obviously, to do that, we're going to need a very active burn cycle. <laughs> Speaking of the burn cycle. Do we get to refresh our... Only when the burn cycle reboots. Okay. So, which player triggered the changing of floors? Um, that would be me. You. So, what happens is we give this token to the player who triggered that. Yeah. There you go. And then we start again. So, we actually do skip... The corporation effectively skips a turn. So, I know what you're saying about the cookies, and it would be good to get a, a rule on that. Uh, okay, yeah. keys and caches are unlimited. Thank you, Ricardo. So we do need to. I will put these red chips. Under yeah, here. these just proxy them. Didn't these you? are keys. Yeah, proxy. I think it's because BioDefend has an extraordinary number of guards uh, on the floor. We'll probably clear some equipment crates by yeah. the time we get there. Yeah. By the time we've killed all those guards. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, rule, ruling question. If anybody wants to ask. Uh, oh, Shannon, his, his chips are meant to be limited. Yeah, okay, we got that. So the ruling question is, Cookies says, skip the ping activation step of the corporation's next turn this round. Yeah, so it says next turn this round. And it's... it's. Well, I think we've moved to a new round, but I don't... Paul thinks maybe we haven't. I'm not so. sure what the definition of a yeah. round is. <laughs> I think it's... Because yeah. a round is normally... Yeah. Player turn, player turn, corporation we turn. We didn't finish the round because we skipped floors... So we're going to go. So to yeah, are we now in a new, new round? round? Yeah. In other words, does the cookies still apply or or not? So that that would be the that's question. the dubious one. Does yeah. cookies roll over if you change floors while it is cookies around while it's still active? Yeah, no, uh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Start thinking of food. But it's but yeah, we we effectively skip that corporation's turn. All right. Oh, we've lost your your pegs. But it's it's my, my turn. And if I don't reboot the burn cycle, you don't get I get do no actions. All right, this is cool. I'm looking forward to this. So we're going to reboot the burn cycle. I can't remember how this happens. We completely remove all of these. Yep. They all go back over there. Um, we build a new burn cycle with three black and the captain's chip. And then we uh, gain our personal reserves. So I get a blue and a purple. Thank you. You get two green. And then we gain team reserves based on the rooms that we're in. But safe zones don't give any room. Don't right. give anything. So we, we have nothing in the team reserve. And we don't recover any power. We don't do anything. But you say we can freely move in this space? We can start off uh, anywhere in that area. Right. So I'm presuming you're going to yeah. want to go first next to the door. Then. Yeah. So captain's ship is out first. Oh, same which as last actually, time. Which is actually great. Um, and I think that's everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mark is saying he imagines it's a new round. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that as well. So my first action. Cool. First of all, lock an unlocked door. There are no unlocked doors. Brilliant. Right. Which action do I want to do? Um, now, last time when we did this, it was okay, wasn't it? Now I do have, hmm. um, I do have double time, which will let me gain oh, two. Oh, imperative. I, I get yeah, you, you, yeah, I've got double time, and it says next time the captain's burn so this happens, resolve its effect twice instead of once. If I complete this, I do you gain two, two power, power, and I'm really low on power. Yeah, that'd be really good. Allow it to happen twice. Twice. Yeah. All right, mate. Okay. Because so, if we don't unlock any doors, you yeah. allow it to happen. So Nothing unless, happens, right. and you get two power. So unless you roll anything other than a two, three, or four. Yeah. I mean, I could just not bother unlocking any doors. The problem is we've got a bulldog right here yeah. with, a, with a huge awareness. And the floors are vibrating. Okay. And we do have... We are going to remove it. Yeah. And the threat will go up if we're left in... That's true. 
Well, it's yeah, we are probably going to have to unlock a door, aren't we? It doesn't matter. We can go to different rooms anyway. Mm-hmm. Or I could just hang here for a bit. I mean, Bit's dead easy. Bit can just wander over here and he's in. It's like... Is that where he's heading? Well, we've got to be in the control room and the server room, so we right. could just send Bit here. This is why we... we, we this would Well, the good. stairwell would have been good, but... It you still can't, can't get, get around. around. You'd you have to get go around. all the way around. And this was a good choice. I think so. Yeah. It's just right. that bulldog's in the way. So you've activated Captain... Oh no, you need to root power if you wish. Uh, yep, not rooting power. I don't think I'm rooting power. Build your dice pool. Yeah, I mean, I say I'm not rooting power. I kind of... Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to spend two power, and I'm going to upgrade one of my advanced dice to an elite dice, just so we see. Oh, nice. See that working. Because they've got re-rolls a go-go. Okay, so I'm building my dice pool, which is six blue, one yellow, one red. That's my dice pool. Right, okay, next. Actions. Actions. So we've done that. The captain has done its thing and locked an unlocked door. Right. So you can still take... It's, it's already open. An action. So, yeah, it's, it's just what's our plan. I mean, do, do I now? Do, run, yeah. run, 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 run into here. So we've there's both no way out of here. We're this just, is the problem. Right, we're going to leave bit there where safe. Yeah, just in, yeah, and just, just bit just stays there for ages. Yeah, and if we get if we get a terminal, we might be able to unlock that door. Yep. Uh, uh, for for bit, mm-hmm. so just keep that there, and then you're obviously going to do the the terminal because you're the man who does the terminal. Yep. And keypads. I'm just going to keep an eye on the network. Yep. I mean, the threat's doing really fine. We're only at six. Game's over when we get to 26. So I, I think threat is now under control. Of course, we've got these bad things that might happen. Yeah. But. So where are you going to go? You're going to go to the server room. I'm just going to run to the server room. Or do we completely ignore the server room and just run all the way down here to the control room? Mm. It's a very, very long way. Mm. But there's only one terminal. My, my concern with the server room is that we go in, Bulldog comes in, and we're stuck inside. But then we just need push, and we just move them out of the way. I've got push and yeah. swap, so we can uh, I can rearrange people. Okay, we've got a plan. So we, we I'm just going to I'm going to keep an eye on this again. You're going to go and do the thing. I don't want to come out and cause any trouble. You need to be in here or here at some point. At some point. Before we complete the objective. Yeah. Yeah. Because we need to get to R&D. Where's R&D? This is R&D. Okay. So that's the only other thing. It's, quite, it? it's a bigger jaunt to R&D. No, it's not that far, is it? From here compared to there. And it's got two activation tokens in it. Yeah. There might be some way of scouting ahead okay. using, using these things. All right, go for it, mate. See what you can do. But yeah, let's um, let's let me get a cheap two power back. I think. I don't mind if you need to unlock a door. I mean, I've got twice for the heart. Yeah. So. All right, go for it. I mean, the other thing is, I could I could just rush in here. And, and just do some stuff. What, just loot? What, like, try and grab some loot? Yeah, and then get out. And then the captain... Captain will lock that locks door. Lock that door when we're not bothered about it. That sounds like a good plan. Okay. What, what does the exclamation mark do? The, the exclamation mark is basically, on certain scenarios, if it says that there is a, an objective spot, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's that. Right, okay. So for this scenario, there isn't one. Right. So these little things, like this little security camera... Well, they all do different things on different scenarios. Uh, that's just that's just artwork. It's just artwork. Yeah, it's just artwork. Okay. Just these these icons. Am I just going to move with all of these, and then use the key, go in, get all of this stuff? Oh no, because I want to do the terminal, and then I want to get out again. So for me to get out again from the terminal is one, two, three. I'm going to get hit by the bulldog. Don't think it would have been good for yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, 
that's pretty good. So you're just going to max your... I think I need to save that. Uh, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, I like five, this plan. six, seven, eight, nine. No, hang on. That's being greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to get locked in there behind you. You're happy with that? No, because then I'm going to go back out. You're going to come back and out on the same turn. The dice is to come out on the same turn. All right, brilliant. So my plan is to go that. Um, so that's a one, two. I'm just going to roll all these. Okay. okay. Choosing the movement action. Ooh. Yes, it's just enough. Two, four, five. It's six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Using the key on the way. You don't have to stop. No, if you've got a key, it happens during the movement. Okay, I like it. Uh, there we go. We've now got a spare key. Yeah. Um, and yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, Bulldog, where do I want to go to? No, nah, it doesn't matter. Because his awareness is, is so there? much that he actually sees oh, it's me going 10, through the sorry. door. Yeah, he's going to see inside there. So, yeah. The Bulldog's awareness is five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I pick up this equipment on the way. There we go. We've now got another key. The equipment is... An air horn. We know, <laughs> we know how that works. We do. Uh, those, are, those are gone. Uh, and that was the first action. Yeah. So I rushed through there, opened that with a key, picked up that, picked up the air horn on the way. Oh, we've got this. And we've got your special ability. Right. Once per turn, do you Well, I should, do I that should probably for roll for that before four, doing that. Yeah. Ah. That's a problem. The that door's just locked behind me. Okay. <laughs> it was going to lock. Yeah, but now you need to now I'm unlock inside, it to get out. And we get to look at this terminal card and decide if we will keep it. And the bottom one is unlock a door of your choice. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to keep that there. All right. Brilliant. So my second action is I'm going to do a terminal, terminal. action. We're back on track. I'm going to remove that. Um, I draw the card. I choose to do none of the other things. But I do get the bottom action. Yep. At no cost. Which is to unlock a door. door. You can pick which door you wish now. Actually, a good point, isn't it? The bulldog's still going to get me. Uh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, it's a good point. One, uh, to get here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To get here is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the same. It's the same. I'll unlock this one just for a laugh. Okay. Um, so we rolled the surveillance die, which locked that. We've done the terminal. Yeah. The terminal is is now done. Yeah. Third action. Um, Do we not have any chips up here? No. No. Because you have to have the. You've got to be in rooms when you reboot the burn cycle. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to move. Okay. Four. So that is a re-roll. Oh. So the red dice, the elite dice, have icons on them, which allow me to re-roll one of the dice. Oh, beautiful. So that's. Six movement. Uh, one, two, spotted. Three, four, five, six. I mean, if he's going to hit me anyway. I mean, f forget the whole spotted. Mm. Vibration fours. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're spotted anyway. You got another move, though. I have one more. And I got no dice. I got no dice. So it will be a, um, so I'll take a network, card. network card. Reduce threat by two if I can do it. Right, okay. So network. Have we done all that right? What about the air horn? You could use that and that'll save you from Bulldog. It won't because if I use the air horn over here, until the end of the round, security has no awareness of your agent. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So, therefore, it wouldn't pursue me. The problem The problem is, the, the reason why I'm querying the wording is because of the vibrating sense, the vibration sensors. Mm. Normally, the way this would work is I would leave my chip there and then I would move and they wouldn't be aware of me at all. But because in this scenario, there's the vibration sensors, I don't think the air horns... Do you think one overrides the other? Which one takes priority? 
Will the vibrating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark is saying it still would because the vibrating sensors see me. So I, yeah. I, I, I triggered the air horn and put it. We've here. got to wait until we switch it off. But then the vibrating sensors, yeah, vibration sensors will still detect me. Yeah, yeah. we've got to switch it off, haven't we? Okay, so network four generic movements, and if I can end up on purple three, that would be good. Don't think it's going to happen, is it? <laughs> no. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's all. Or no. one, two, three. Yeah. So I'll just go one, two, three, four, and move my network level up to five. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Done. Done. Root power? Nope. No, I think I'm okay. Downgrade the degrade. Degrade the burn cycle. Four. Okay. Okay. How are we with four actions? I think we're okay with four actions. Considering our current power. Might be a bit expensive to go to five. There's no point saving it. We, we know when you win the game, you want to be. Winning. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. it reduce your dice pool. Yeah, quite a bit. I think we need to do running first. Yeah, so we need the dice to get the. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, an extra action you can't do anything with. More, more actions, more dice is better than more actions when yeah. you're when you're trying to move about. Okay, my go root power. Um, which I'm not going to do. Dice cool. pool, four blue and two yellow. Actions. Captain. First of all, Captain locks a door of our choice. Has to be that one. Yeah, and Go. he's, he's going to do it twice. Okay, so he's done it twice. Twice, and then I get rid of this. I mean, the imperative doesn't say it must be able to do it twice. Then the next we time just, he activates, he activates twice. twice. Yeah. We've resolved it twice. Yeah. So I think that's a one of those quirks that was worked in our favour. Yeah. And I gain so two you power. Gain two power. Okay. Um, and I can take an action, mm -hmm. um, which is obviously going to be. Do I just network, network, network? No. Or do I stay there and draw seventy-five network cards? Yeah. <laughs> and wait until you've disabled the floors. The only other thing I could do is come in here and push this bulldog about. Um, I think I'm just going to stay here and use my... Um, yeah, I'm going to use... A, I'm just going to stay here and wait until you've done the floors. Okay. I'm going to take a network card. So network card for the first action. Yeah. Then I'm going to take an optimized... Yeah, you're twist. Gonna, you're going to optimize with this that with one. your special, special ability, ability yeah. to take a network card. Yeah, and, and then, another network card. Yeah. Okay. Then this one. I'm going to take a two movement. Oh, uh, oh no, I'm not. No. <laughs> By rolling my dice. Oh right, yeah. Because you're not using your dice for anything else. I mean, the only other thing I could no, I mean, I could go in and try and open a door, I suppose. I mean, you're you're safe to come out here. I mean, I said that last time and you got hit. Um, <laughs> but this I, is going for me. I don't mind coming out. Yeah. What I don't want to do is put the threat up too high. Oh yeah. But That's all I'm worried yeah, about. Okay. I think I'm more useful doing nothing than I am sticking around here. So maybe I just look at all of those dice. I know those dice could be movement points. They could. But when you don't want to move, you don't want to move. But that's not going to reach us. That's only got movement two. So if you were to come out and run all the way around here and end up... Which I could do. All I'm doing is putting... Th yeah. I think we're okay for threat. It's just one threat, isn't it's it? It's one threat. I think we're all right. I think it's worth it. All right, let's move then. So action three, move. Roll loads of dice. Oh, one, two, three, Oof. four. 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 Five. If I want it's, it. You don't need him for anything else. No. I was contemplating this. I'm going to do that. Five. Yep. Okay. Three. 
We get a head start, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Last action. You're optimizing it. I'm optimizing. Two more network cards. Well, yeah. Twist. Okay. Thank you very much. And it keeps the burn cycle alive. So right. that one does no, that does a one three generics and a green. Okay. So the first generic moves you to the middle. It does. So network level up by one, threat down by one, power up by one. Perfect. You go back to the start. Then two more generics. Network levels up to four, and then, and then a, green. a green. Now, where do you want to get to? I want if I do this one, I draw a two mono card and resolve one option. I know oh, you could. I okay. I can't get to green, so it's just that one. It's green too. Yeah. So you've discovered a virtual terminal. So I'm not going to get to any of those. I'm going to get to that one by doing that. Draw a terminal with card. With that last network action. Yeah. There you go. Have a terminal card. Thank you very much. You get one of those at no cost. Any. So it could be top, middle, or bottom. Oh, agents can only have a maximum of three network cards at a time. Oh, thank you, Ricardo. We'll do that from ne from next turn. Oh, really? Yeah, but I did say to Ricky earlier on, I didn't think there was a limit. So we'll, we'll apply that limit from next turn onwards. Okay. Increase all agents' network level by one, or a single by two. Reduce the threat by two. Gain four power and advance the threat by two. I think that's worth it. What, you think four power? Think I've so. only, I'll only gain three power. Okay. Not reduce the threat by two. I think we're okay. The threat. It's going to go up to it now. Yeah. And then I can spend said power. I'll need to spend three of it. Because even this threat event here is not going to hurt us too much. Are you thinking of opening this up? Possibly. Or well, just, or just some buying dice. more dice. All right. All right then. But then threat's going to go up four. Yeah. Go on then. Okay. Yeah, go on then. So the threat's gone up to seven. Yeah. And then I've got to spend uh, two to get another yellow. Yeah. And then two to convert a yellow into a red. Yeah. Or you could have just spent four for a for a red straight out. Could I? Yeah. It's the are. same thing. It's either. the same thing. Yep. Okay. So yeah. degrade burn cycle. Is that one? Oosh. And now the corporation gets a turn. Finally. <laughs> yeah, finally. So first of all, pursuit. <laughs> Bulldog doesn't know which one of us to go for. We choose. Um, well, I'm, I've got six. I've power. got six. I'm more than happy for it to hit me. Uh, the only advantage of it hitting you is it's moving that way. Yeah, let's have it hit me then. So we're going to choose you as the target, and we choose whether it goes to there or there. If it goes to there, it hits both of us. There. So it goes to there and hits you for two. You two power. That's Bulldog done, and that's you done. Yep. We have Pursuit on here, uh, which is that one, so it moves two towards me. Doesn't get me. No. Nope. That one done. So there's no investigations. So now we have Patrol. So this goes one, two, three, turns around. Bulldog stays. Um, yeah, Bulldog stays, and this one moves one, two. Yeah. And that's that done. Done, done, done. I think we're all done. I do have a question, though, Okay. for experts of the game. Hamster moves here, and then it, it turns round, but when it's turning round, would it... Does it get its six awareness? As it, you know, does it does it turn like that? Oh, that's a fine question. Or does it just flip quickly? Flip round. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's covered in the rule book. Well, it must flip, mate. Because no. Because otherwise, you could just have it turn that way. Yeah. <laughs> or in the rules, it says they always turn so, right. Yeah. But that's for the perimeter control. So, it should be. But Mark said no. Flip 180 would be. Yeah. Okay. Activate pings. Activate pings. There are no pings are on the no. network, so we get a ping. It's, it's really interesting, this, because the last time I played, yeah. the pings were really prevalent. Were they? There were two or three of them running, running around, around all the time, and it was a real problem. In yeah. this game, 
We've it's, been... it's like they're insignificant because yeah. we are keeping an eye on it. And cheating with the network cards. And cheating with the network cards, yeah. <laughs> so network level goes up by two. Yeah, they've hardly done anything. We just keep booting them out. And we've, we've been to this core quite a few times. Okay, threat goes up by two. Threat goes up by two. We're now at threat nine. And it's my go. Okay, rooting power. <coughs> I don't think I want to root power. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One of those. One of those. And off we go. The captain locks the door. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, threat goes up by threat one. Threat goes up by one because you're in the corridor with yeah. you. So we. Oh, I said it wasn't going to hurt. Yeah. When can we alter the burn cycle? Um, because I needed to do it before we hit that threat escalation point. It's a free action. It is a free action. So you have to wait wait until you're in your action phase. So you've got to build your dice pool first. Is it? Yeah, it's a free action. Altering the burn cycle, four. Free actions, four. So free actions differ. Uh, a player can take them outside of the action step of their turn. Can? You can do a free action any time on their turn, except when in the middle of another action, or in the middle of resolving a roll or a game effect. So before my turn even starts, I am going to use a free action to replace that. Okay? Then threat goes up by one because my awareness chip is in a hallway, which means we've hit firepower and we degrade all physical action ships in the burn cycle. Oh, and discard all physical action ships from the team's reserve. That's going to go anyway. Oh, okay, it's going to go anyway. <laughs> I don't think you can do it, to be fair, because it says it happens at the start of your turn. And I think mm. I think maybe that has to happen on your turn. Yeah. Okay, we'll say, we'll say you can't. So that goes there, and I lose that. Yeah, I think so. There you go. Okay. So all physical chips? All physical chips. Okay. Yeah, I said it wasn't going to hurt us too much, because physical was only that one. Yeah, we really need physical, don't we? We do. I mean, we can go into a room that gives us physical chips and reboot the burn cycle to get them. Okay. That, that is an option. We, we can reboot the burn cycle whenever where is we want that? to. Good question. They, is you, there any? Well, I'm, I know what Sharon's <laughs> like. See, she would have sneakily said hidden, them. hidden them on a different floor. Yeah, yeah. they're not here. <laughs> There's no physical chips yeah, on this floor. see. Yeah. Okay. They're smirking now. Sneaky chips. Feel the smirk. Right. Yeah. Right, so now you do your... Um, Root power. Dummy, dummy dice pool. Okay. It's actions. Actions. So the captain's chip doesn't do anything because there's no locks. So we're still on with the original plan, except I don't have a key now. So the plan is get in there. Get in there. So I'm moving. Yeah, you need three. I need three. So I can One, yeah. very likely get three. Yeah. With that. Or the red, the red one and two blues. Red one and two blues will definitely get it. Yeah, it's guaranteed, isn't it? Okay, so move and you potentially saving two blues. Four, four. Put that one back. Four movement. I go. Hello. <laughs> Three. Now you're gonna have to. Second action is going to be a keypad action. Um, now, we're on floor two now, so these keypads are harder. Yeah, got you. Do I want to... And we've got no it? clever chips here. No. And we've got no. nothing in our reserve. No. But you've got lots of dice. So this is tricky. Yeah, so I could brute force it. No, okay, it's This jammed. is fine. It's jammed, you can't. Yeah, no, oh yeah, so I can't brute force it, but this is fine. I get detected, I'm detected anyway, and we add a ping to the network. So it goes there. And the door is open. Okay. Nice. So if that space is occupied, it's it goes around right to the next one. Yeah. So door is open. Right. Which is obviously going to get locked again before your turn. I'm going to do a free movement in. Uh, I am seen as I go in the door. Can you not? Because uh, yeah, of want. that. Yeah, I don't want that door getting locked because I've got to leg it in there as well. Third action. And um, before you do, assess oh, yeah. intent. Uh, yeah, yeah, all of the stuff. Have a look so, and, and roll, roll the dice. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's locked anyway. My goodness. Okay. 
So well, the door good. locks behind That's good. Me. It, was, it was going to lock anyway. Yeah. Uh, and I get to I have a peek. The card. Now that's actually quite nice, the bottom one. Surveil a room of our choice. We get to see what's in there beforehand. Definitely that one. That would be one. really good. Definitely R&D. So we're keeping that on top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I've got two actions left. Is that right? I moved. I keep added. I moved in. We did the thing. We did the thing. Yeah. Third action. It would be nice if you... No, there's it's no point. It's got to be moved, wasn't it? Yeah, it's got to be moved. You, you... Well, no, it doesn't have to be moved. I could unlock the door again. But the guy's going to lock it um, behind you. Yeah. Unless you... Can you not replace that chip? I could. Threat goes up by two. I mean, you could replace it at the start of your turn. But I think... Cap does captains activate before? No. No, you can definitely do that before... Before the captain activates. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do then. So, so okay. yeah, you could unlock the door. I could unlock the door and then move. That's a no action. Bye. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I don't want you to swap with me and me end up outside the door again. How are you with keypad actions? Rubbish. But you can move, right? You can open the door and move. I'm not going to put a swap with you. Okay, yeah, because I'm not going to do both of these terminals no. now. Okay, so I'm going to try a keypad action here. No, I could do it. I could try and do it. Um, yeah. We've got a... Um, if you put a blue in there, mm -hmm. it's kind of a waste because you're, not, you're missing yeah. an, an optimised no, action. I'll try the keypad again. I mean, you never know. This might get degraded. It might. Oof. It's okay, because of my special ability. Okay, go on then. Tech, physical and utility inputs on keypads are ignored during accesses keypad actions if a matching chip exists anywhere in the burn cycle. It exists. It doesn't say it has that it has to be active. Okay. So therefore, I ignore that, because that's there. The door is, again, Sweet. unlocked. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Right. N l last action, I'm going to put that into there. Perfect. Which gets rid of that. Uh, just to move. Rolling the rest of my dice. And I've got one, two, three, four, five and a half. So I'll move to here. Yeah. You're far away from the door, but. Um, I've got two left. We could move bit. I don't think we want to move no. it at this stage. No. We want to try and get that door open with a free op door open somehow. Yeah, that would be great. But I need to get rid of that, Captain. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we do the network. network step. So generic, 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 and blue. Where am I? Generic, generic, I've generic. I've no network cards. You so get a red. That's not me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> so. uh, you, well, you, cho ooh. Oh. you choose them because um, you've got choices, mate. So, yeah. Well, generic, generic, generic. Blue. And blue. That works. Or generic, generic. Yeah, generic. I'm all right with network level. And blue. You can get two reds. I'm going to go for the power. So generic, 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 and then blue. Getting a power from there. I'm up to seven. Okay. okay. Uh, degrading the bone cycle. Come on, one, five, or question mark. Your power's okay? Yeah. It's a question mark, so we can choose that one. Brilliant. There we go. Yeah, power's at seven, so I'm okay. I don't need to root any. You'll go. Okay. Um, I've only got four blue, but I do have two yellow and one red. Uh, I want to run like a crazy man, <laughs> but do I want to switch out that captain's chip first to get an extra yeah okay so replacing a degraded captain's chip does not increase the threat yeah and I'm going to take two two of those fellas have you got your dice pool? I do I'm now going to take an optimised move using your special using ability. all of my dice yeah 
And I'm going to come in here with you, right? Yep. Oof. That's one, a re-roll. Three, four, five, six, seven. So re-roll the yellow. Can't be worse than a one. And you optimised it because of your ability, yeah. so it's... Three, four, five, six. You can go on the terminal. I can go on the terminal. Yeah. I've actually got two movement left, but I don't need them. Alrighty. And I've got one die left as well. So, terminal action. Yeah, so if you do it, you'll be drawing that card and then you'll have to roll to see if you can get them. Yeah, I don't want to do that, do I? So, no. But you might want to do a terminal action neck round after I've done that one. So I could just take another network card. Yep. Let's do that. There's no other doors out of this place, is there? Yeah. Okay, Shannon has confirmed that degraded chips do not count. Oh, okay, right. We did that wrong, but I thought that's one that we queried over the weekend and I got confirmation. So you should have says. bust the keypad open. Yeah, never mind. Well, you had a bunch of dice. And I've got an action I don't have nothing to do with. Yeah, that, that needs to say, if, an, if a matching chip exists anywhere in the burn cycle and is active or and is not degraded or something like that, Why did I move on there? Because um, I told you to do so. I was thinking that you could do a terminal action next round, but you don't need to. I'm more than happy to do both of these terminals next round. Well, I'm just thinking I could move again. Oh, because you've been in there now. I've been in there. So how much movement did you have? <laughs> I had two movement... I have four movement left. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You had ten movement, didn't you? Yeah, I got four left. Because I you was were, optimised. You were here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got four left. So you could just go seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. But you've got guard, guard, guard. Yeah, but I've got another action. So I could move again. Or I could try and get to a doorway. That looks a bit dangerous. And I've got a nitro shot. Once per turn, as a free action, I may roll this die and move my agent. It's only hamster. Bulldog here <clears throat> is going to move out and hit you for one. It's only one. Radiohead can't hit you. Hamster can't hit you. No, but I'm going to move up here. So oh, I'm okay. Saying. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nitro shot. Okay. Where's that die? Die number three. Oh, here it is. Is that number three? Yeah. No, that's number four. No, that's number four. Maybe die three and die four are exactly the same, but there's two of them in the game. Right. So on this, I'm gonna roll this die, and it's got a little symbol that says it may break. Right. Yep. Uh, once per turn as a free action. It's broken. And I move two. In fact, I think that break symbol... Oh, no, it's not on each one. Okay. But yeah, it's broken. Two. Two, yeah. And then I've got... I've still got this action left, so I could just move with that little fella. Yeah. You haven't disabled the floors yet, have you? No. Where am I heading? Here to unlock the door, maybe? Yeah, that's one spot. And we've all got to get to R&D. We've all got to get to R&D. But one of, us, one of us has to unlock that door. Bit do that itself. Uh, well, Bit needs to get into either the control room or the server room. And it's probably better for Bit to just go into the control room. That's not very stealthy, is it? It's not. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> let's go back to what I said at the start of this game, which is this is all about stealth. This mission is different because yeah. they're going to see you when you're in the hallway. 
Yeah, it's very different. It's yeah. very difficult. Okay. Done? Yep. Network. Now, did I... Was my eye in the corridor? Should I have put my threat up, or did I do that? I can't remember. It was... I can't remember. Somebody will tell us if we missed it. Yep. Okay, cool. Right, network step. Green, black, black, blue. Okay, now I'm looking for... Stun any guard in play. See, this is what I want to do. Ah, right, okay. All right, so I can... I can go... If you can get on purple too, which you can. Green. You can pass. You don't have to move. So you could just skip this. Well, I've got green one as well. If you have an imperative card, discard it and collect. No, I don't. If I don't have an imperative, draw one. And I've got draw equipment as well. I'd like to stun that hamster, you see. Yeah, so you need to get onto purple too. Yeah. Which you can do. You skip, you don't move the first one. Yeah. And then you do single move, single move. Single move, single move. Yeah, so you're on purple two. You can stun, stun that guard. Hamster is stunned. Then I go one more and take that. And threat goes down by one. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. That guard. I look like I know what I'm doing. You're not going to move. Okay. Corporation's turn. Uh, not quite. No. Nope. Um, I need to degrade the burn cycle. Oh, yes. Anyone we wish. So, that one. Yeah. Choice. Okay. So, security unit activation. Are there any detected bots? Yes. But are there any detected bots within the awareness range? No. Two, three, four. One, two, three, no. No. Okay, so there's no pursuit. No. But now we have investigate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this. So that moves three. You can choose to move it. So it moves to there, and then you can choose to move it whether it's there or there. Yeah, so that's moved. Yeah, and that's done that. Investigating that. Then now we've here, got this one. it moves two, so it goes one, two. Yeah. So that's gone there, but it now goes on there. And if it had any more movement, it would then carry on. But it it will turn to face so you. It turns to face me. So that's that done. And that's that done. Now we do patrol. It's just that hamster. So one, two, three. Turns around. Bulldog doesn't move. That was stunned. Flip everything back over. Make it look simple. <laughs> Activate pings. Right, we have two pings on the network now. Right. So this one will move okay. up first, and it will move up to three, but it will stop here. And then this one moves up to three and goes there. Then we roll dice for every ping which is on a hub, which is none, which means they both transfer out. Okay, okay. not a problem, because our network levels are Skying way above. more than, yeah. than it. Threat goes up. Threat goes up by two... That had already happened, so it doesn't happen again. Correct. Um, and that's it. All right. Right, our turn. So you... you No. Yeah, I'm not in a room. Yeah, I mean, we could reboot the burn cycle if we wanted to, and it would get us some chips back. Because I've used both of my chips already. You've used both of yours mine. already. We're going to have to do it at some point. But... Yeah. We haven't got any... No, I think I'm going to have to root power. I mean, I've only got three actions this turn. Yes. Ah, so here's the, here's the problem. I've only got three actions this turn, and I can't change that. And it was going to be terminal, move terminal. Right, you've got an, you've got an optimised terminal first. Yeah. There's a move, but there's a guy in the way. Yeah, and I need to get rid of both terminals. So, yeah, I'll just take terminal, move, move terminal, terminal, and get hit by that one. Yeah. And then next turn, root we power up. and push it out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so first action is an optimised terminal, which means I get to do both of them if I want to. Oh, building my dice pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a yellow, and a red. So I'm going to get to do the bottom one for free. Um, and since I only need to move three... 
I'm going to keep those back. Um, so yeah, optimized. Choose two terminal options. Well, the top one is reducing threat by one. The other one is oh, add an action chip from the supply to your reserve. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay. And then we don't have to reboot the burn cycle quite yet. Because I'll put that physical chip in there, if I get that. Which means I'm going to roll the red dice as well. Okay. So the first one I'm going to choose is the top one. And I'm going to choose the comms. And I've done it. Yep. So the threat goes down by one. Then I'm going to choose the next one. And I'm going to roll... I don't really need to roll all of these. But... I need four, right? I need four. <laughs> well, got the four. So I'll have a physical you knew action that was chip. Gonna happen. That's mine. And then I get the bottom one for free. And we're going to surveil R and D. Yes. So that we know what's coming. Yes. Your ability is awesome. It's good. <laughs> I like being able to see that card. Yeah. So we're going to roll the two dice to see what's in R and D. Nice. So the door locks. The door's already locked. And we get a guard. Now it is floor two. We are out of level two guards. Let me give these a shuffle. And it goes on A. So we've got... We don't worry about that guard because we've only got to get yeah. in there. we got a bulldog. Sat in the room, facing to the way. Right. Next. That was my first thing. Terminal has gone. Yep. I then move to there and I do a yep. network action. I then alter the burn cycle. Okay. And do a move a action. action. Which is optimised. Which is optimised. So I've got two movement points. Plus another two is four. Yep. Uh, so one, two, three. No? No, because you need to get in and... Yeah, he's just hovering in the corridor. Yeah. He's, okay. got to, he's got to wait there until the door's the fourth open. action is a terminal, terminal action, action, but it's not optimised. And you don't have a peak at it this time. But I do get the bottom ability for free. Gain three power. Nom nom nom. <laughs> um, Still nothing opening doors. This is what I was hoping for. We could open yeah. that door. I'm going to try comms. Decrease the CEO's level by. Okay, what's this one? Comms. Advance threat by two. Dis Discard a guard in play that is not currently adjacent to a bot. Bulldog. Mm hmm. Oh, Radiohead. Possibly. Oh yeah. I need three. It gets out. I got, I got three. three. Okay. I was kind of hoping not to get three, so I wouldn't have to make a decision. Um, <laughs> but threat's gone up by two. Still fine. Yeah. Right. What do we want to do? Are we thinking this one? Yeah. He's, he's got it. Okay. Go on. Takes its key with it. Nice. So even though I'm stood like five feet away from it, it's been called up on a security drill. Um. And the floors are now. No. You didn't terminate. Yes. You did. No, they are. So the, the floor sensors are deactivated. deactivated, but we haven't done the objective because bit not hasn't there. Been no, in but a, I'm in heading that way. I'm right. heading that okay. way. So now we do the network step. We're closing in, guys. We're closing in. If I can end up on purple one, where am I? Oh, I'm there. Okay, so what have I got? I've got green. Well, you're going to knock this thing off first. Yeah, unless I was to go out. But I do want to knock it off. So I'm going to do green and I'm going to go to there. You could go all the way to green one. And that knocks that off. And my network level goes down by one. Yeah, it's not... It's purple one. It's not essential. It's, it's okay. Oh, you can get purple one. Second one is a generic one movement. Purple one's there for you. You can go in. Yeah, no, I'll go in. Or you can knock that red one I'll off. go in. Next one is purple, which moves me all the way around to the core, oh, okay. which reduces threat by one. Network level goes up by one. Gain one power, which I can't because I'm That would reduce threat by two. Yeah. Uh, and then I go back to the start. And then finally blue. 
I go here and I go to here. Or you can go to that red one. Or I could go to the red one and get six. But I think five's enough. Yeah, we're on. Okay. Yeah. Done. Network step is done. Degrade the burn cycle. Whichever one you Our want. Our choice. Well, obviously, the um, one that isn't anything, anything special. Right. Done. Your go. Right. I don't think we need to reboot yet. Okay. Um, I don't want to root power. Dice pool. Four blue. You can't actually go to the blue one. You can only transfer power once per network move. Transfer power. Oh, you can only go inwards. Mm, no, you, you can transfer once on each of those. Each but each. I think I went there, there, and there. And I uh, think that's two. So, yeah, you're right. Which means I'll stay there and get gold to six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good shout. So you can transfer in or out, okay. but you can only make one transfer on each individual move. Yeah. Okay. I've um, forgotten that going from there to there counted as a transfer. Four, two, one. Now. I could strike the hamster. You could. What do I need? Tell me. Uh, it's a level one guard, so you would need ten to shut it down, five to stun it, but whether you stun it or shut it down, you will get the key. I believe. Do I not do I grab it from the do I grab it from yeah. him, do I? Strike actions, page five. Uh, yeah, level one guard is ten to shut it down. But if you fail but come within five, then you can choose to stun it, and it will be flipped over. Regardless of whether or not the strike is successful, causes threat to advance by one. Um, shutting down a security unit grants you one power, and the security chip is discarded. Stunning or shutting down a security unit with a key under it allows the striking bot to gain the key and place it in their inventory. Yeah, I'm tempted. Okay. Because yeah. I need the key to open that yeah. door. You only need five. You've got a whole bunch of dice. Uh, yeah, but then I can't move. Now, what I could do is I could strike. Strike on here, using your ability to optimise it. Yeah, as, and I get plus two. Yeah, move at uh, plus two. Done. Move will only, with two will only get me here. Yeah, it depends how many dice you need for the strike. Well, to try and get ten... You're going to need a lot of them. Well, you only need five to stun it. Yeah, I want to grab that key. But you get the key. Oh, I get the it. key. Yeah, you get the key either way. Str uh, shutting it down would be awesome, because then it, it's gone. Yeah. But it's also, when it comes back from being stunned... No, it's probably going to pick us up, isn't it? It's going to come for us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm tempted. I could do it. I'm tempted to do that unoptimized. If I do it optimized, I only need eight, right? Yeah. Because then I can move to optimize for free mm -hmm. and use my ability to move to again. Oh. And that, yeah, I mean, that would get you there. That would get me there. But I still haven't opened the door. No. But I'm out of the way of this fella. Yeah. As are you. But that's the gamble. If I save this die, I could get into the room if I roll a one. Maybe I'll roll them all and make sure of it. Mm -hmm. And just get out of the way. All right, we're just doing a regular unoptimized strike. An unoptimized strike. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. so threat goes up by one. Oh, you swine. <laughs> well, you've got to re-roll on there. Two. Four, five, six. Oh, I need four. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Yeah. I can't do it. You can. You re-roll that and get a three. All right. There's a one in six chance this will work. Okay. You're rooting first then. Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, well, we've stunned it and I've got a key. That's true. That's right. It is stunned. And you have a key. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. That's a skipperoo. That skip, which we can't do anything about. These are all gone. Oh, there's two blues there. Oh yeah, you didn't need them. Because if you were if you were not going to make the ten, yeah, you might as well keep those. So now I can do an optimized move. So Mark is saying if you are next to bit after the four moves, you can use a free action to trade the key and then let bit use the key. Okay. So bit can carry keys. Yeah, but bit can't get through me. Uh, bit has the swap action. Has the swap ability. And that put me in that safe house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good plan. Okay, so it's three movement. Yeah. Yeah, not quite there. And then... Um, that's not going with you now. The vibrating sensors, vibration sensors, are off. So this stays yeah. there. Okay. No, you're still there. No, I'm going to oh. you, you use these again. On my last action, I can roll these as a move. Okay. And hope for a two. Yep. One. Yeah. Well, I ended up where I ended up. Yeah. Well, it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. Nearly. Nearly. No prize. Network? Yep. Green, purple, blue. Okay, green. I've got no network there. It's green, purple, blue. Green, purple, blue. Boot. That goes back. Your network level goes down to three. Nice. Is that it? I think so. Corporation's turn. Are there any detected bots? Yes, me, but there are no, no guards in. within awareness range. No. Investigate. Uh, yes. This needs investigating. Bulldog is the nearest. It's going to get you. Oh no, it's going to get, it's going <laughs> to, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or one, two, three. Will you? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so Bulldog has moved three, uh, and now this one is investigated by me. One, two, three, uh-oh. Four, yeah, that's a pain. I'll just have to push it out of the way. Switch. Yeah. And, and then we've got then patrols. The patrols. One, two, three, and I think that's it. So that becomes unstunned, that becomes unstunned. That's there, that's there. Right. I think we're all done with that. Looking good. Activate pings. Ricky still had his free optimise that he could have used. Um, I did, yeah. So I had extra two movement. So you could have ended up there. Yeah, one. And then use the key to go through the door. Could have used the key to go through the door. But like then that. we'd have had to roll for this. Yeah. So that would have all happened before. We probably moved on a bit too much. Yeah. We'll do it next time. Right. I thought I did it on... I thought I did it on this and I rolled blanks. I optimised... No, you rolled the one. I moved from there to there. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I'm sure. I thought... Did I... we degrade the burn... We didn't degrade the burn title in your turn either. Oh, no. Good shout. One. Okay. Right. So we've done the corpse stuff. We're advancing threat. One, two. Defence contract. The movement stats of all security units is now doubled. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're at crunch point now. But we've got... Yeah, we, we've got to do... We can do it this time. We can get everyone in good places. And you're the one that's furthest. You're yeah. the one who's in difficulty. Well, I need to learn push. I've learned how to push things out of the way. We've only got two actions unless we reboot the burn cycle. One, two, three, four. Yeah, good point. Are we going to reboot the burn cycle? I think I think so. Because you want to get physical. <laughs> that was not a cue for a song. No. Um... <laughs> And all we need to do is get a bit into here. 
But we could have done the free. We could have done the trade. We could have done the trade because I can move bit on my turn. So it's probably worth you doing the free action to trade because you can always free action trade it back. Yeah. If we need to. So bit has now got the key. Yeah, I agree. So rooting power. I've rooted one. Do I need to root any other power? What's my plan this turn? Is to is to just move out. Yep. And you need to. And oh, you've got push. Head towards R and D. Yeah, head towards R and D. So, so I'm going to spend another two power. We get bit in there, and then I scoot to R and D to get another advanced die. All right. Okay. So I've rooted my power. I'm building my dice pool. I get a lot of blue dice. I get two yellow and a red. First action. Uh, reboot the burn cycle. We were cycle. rebooting the burn cycle, weren't we? Yep. It's, okay. a, it's a free action. So, rebooting the burn cycle. So we get rid of all of this. I get a purple and a blue. You get two green. Is it a free action? Yeah. It is a thing you do before the start of a player's turn. Okay. So I, I should have rebooted the burn cycle before doing this other stuff. Do we get this green one here? Yeah, we get the green one in the team reserve. Um, so we need three blacks and a captain. Pink. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is the captain's going to come back out. And shut some doors. Yeah. That's the problem. Not if you switch it out. Yeah, well, we'll see where it comes. Give him a shuffle. Where does it come out? Nobody knows. It'll be first. It's first. <laughs> Arg. You can switch it out before he does his thing. I think we're going to have to, because otherwise the door's locked and then we're back at... Yeah. Oh, no. There aren't any... Well... So we're yeah, switching it's it out. This door the threat goes up by another two. It's this door that's locked. Open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> We've got lots of time. We're just going to run, yeah. run, run. like. So I'm moving. It is optimised. You've got push. And I've got push. And you're going to use as many dice as you can. Well, what's the only other thing that I want to do this turn? Unlock a door. Or strike a security unit and yeah. smash it to bits. <laughs> because now I've got these dice. Because that gets a key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, yeah, you could move over and try and smack the bulldog. Yeah. Grab a key. I, I could do it. Threat goes up. Mm, yeah, the threat's the threat. Place the, the captain bit. on the hallway. The captain's coming in. So, the thing is, an optimised move will get me to there. And because the door's unlocked, that is treated as an adjacent space. Therefore, I can strike it. You can strike during a movement. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's... It's a Plus, separate action. Yeah. But I'm saying I don't have to spend any of my dice to move. So two, strike. Then you're stuck there. It's fun, isn't it? Let's do it. Yeah. So optimised move. Uh, I don't know why my awareness chip is... Oh, yeah. So my awareness chip stays there. Um, but now I'm going to do a strike. And I'm going to use all my dice. Wow. We've, we've gone combat heavy. We have. Well, this is like the final... So, I think I've become... All Eagles Dare, isn't it? Yep. And it's a level two guard. Here we go. There's some twos in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and a half. <laughs> I'll keep the half. Sixteen. Done it. I shut it down. So the bulldog is gone. And I get the key. Okay, threat. Threat goes up by one, which means the captain by one appears yeah. on the hallway security post one of the team's choice, if not already in play. 
Ding. There you go. It's turned up. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's quite slow, that cat. He's very slow. Right, okay. And you've got two more um, actions and one die. Well, I kind of want to get out. Network. And then one die to move. Yeah. So, network action. Have you got any equipment that can help you? I've um, got an air horn. Yeah, not very good. And then we'll just move. It's a one. One, one. I go outside. Now, nothing can see me there, and the vibration sensors are off. They are. <sighs> wow. It is a bit wow. Network. Do you know what you could have... Go on. Oh, no, you couldn't move a bit. You didn't have enough move. No. So purple and three generics, and I'm not interested in this at all. Really? No. Setting the CEO to two and us to four. No. So, no, not interested. Well, only me. Yeah, it dropped me down from six to four. Oh, no. So I've got a purple, which moves me to there, and then three generics, which is one, one two, three, gaining me a power, putting me up to eight. Okay. Um, Degrade the burn cycle. You can root power if you would like. I'm considering buying that fifth slot, but it's probably too late, isn't it? It's a big expense. We've got a lot of chips here. We can keep things going. Yeah. No, I'll keep. I'll keep the power. So degrade the burn cycle. Don't be a one. Four. Four. Okay. You'll go. All right. Whew. Uh, increase power by one. Okay, thank you. Yes, when you defeat a guard. Oh really? Uh, oh yeah, when you shut it down, when you, you get down. you get a power. Okay. Yeah. Well, that means you have to spend one. Very true. <laughs> or two. So I'll, I'll spend two and have another advanced die. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to root power. I'm going to build my dice pool. So on. Four blue, two yellow, and one red. Oh, I like these yellows and reds. Mm -hmm. They look so good, don't they, as well? Good job. Okay. I want to move. It's optimised. Um, Bit's got the key, but if you want to switch, grab the key back. No, you have the key. No, no, you, you, no I insist. <laughs> you have the key. Now, there is something in that room. There, there may be something in the room. If it's a guard, it's here. I think I just want to fire all my dice at this, don't I? Because I need a bit to go. Both, both of you two need to be in here. As soon as that happens, I've already done. I've already done my bit. I went in the server. Oh, okay, right. I just need to get to R and D, and you've not opened the door yet. But I, if I go in there. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is using that movement that Bit could use. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two gets her into five. And then. I think the objective is complete as soon as it happens, as soon as we do it. As soon as we occupy immediately. And we need to be on three and four, which we no, are. No, no, no. I mean the the task. So oh, yeah, as yeah. soon as bit has gone in there, yeah. we get two power each. Yeah. Then I need to run down here, open one of these doors as my next action. Mm -hmm. And then I won't have any way to move. And I'll be at the mercy of those guards. So maybe I just go in. Maybe I do go in and have a look at that crate. See what's in there. Might be good stuff. So just throw all my dice, isn't it? Okay. So first action is movement. Tra first action is trade. Oh yeah. Three actions trade. Take the key. First actual action is movement. Optimised. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that. One, two, three, four. Don't want to go there. No, four. So one moves you in using the key. Yeah. That goes. And then we roll the surveillance die. 
Up you go. Okay. Be good, be good. Don't lock the door. Whoa. That's a mainframe terminal. Okay. Okay, so you went one, two, three, four. four. You get an equipment card. Yep, so I've used one of these. Um, my thingy jiggle is one, two, three, still outside still the outside. door. Okay. Yeah. This is a terminal bypass. So once per terminal action, when your agent is resolving the check, you may roll this die to reduce the required AP. What number is it? Number six. Dice number six. Fail. Okay. Then I've got chip to come in, bit bit to come in. Yeah. With two movement. Right. So that is the objective complete. Yes. Let's just remind ourselves of it again. Um, each bot must enter the server or control room. Done. And one bot must disable the vibration sensors in the server or control room. Yes. Done. We get two power each. And we place the captain on the hallway security post three of the team's choice if not already in play. He's captain, already, he's in, already play, in play. Which so, is good, actually, because he's further away than he might yeah. have been. <laughs> so now we have the, wins, the win condition is all bots must simultaneously occupy R&D while all IPs are on layer three or four of the network. IPs are where they need to be. Yeah. So I've got four move left. Just run out before the door and locks. I'm tempted to move bit in here. Okay. No one's one, two, three foot. They are the bit bit has been seen. Yeah. Um, which is two more, and I've got two more left. Now I could go over here and get greedy. Yeah. Um, I've got a terminal bypass as well. Um, well, why don't I? Because I've got three, I've got two actions left yeah. as well. So that's the movement done. Yeah. So terminal. Action number two. Do you want to do I want to optimise it? Optimise it? Oh, when you went in? I should have had a peep you at You should that. have had a peep at it. So, I can choose two options instead of one. Spoof, place your awareness chip on the other si either side of the, on either side of a door of your choice. So I can make out somewhere else. No. Draw a mod card. Add any action chip from the supply to your reserve. I want, and it's a mainframe, which means it's free. Whichever one you choose is free, and if you optimize it, you can choose two of them. I only want one of them, don't I? Do you want that card, or do you want a different card? Another physical chip would be good, wouldn't it? Let's do that. So you're keeping Add, that card. Yeah. Okay. Any action chip from the supply to your reserve. And if I optimise it, I could have done a different one instead. Well, you did optimise it, didn't you? No. Oh, I thought you did. Okay, no. Right. So that's the terminal action done. Yep, yeah, that goes. So the terminal has gone. I still haven't used that die either. I've got this, so my last one is going to be an optimised move. With my ability. Yeah. So you got three moves. Yeah. Which will put me by the door. Right, okay. Um, gonna have to sort this out. That bulldog's gonna come in. Yeah. You could also attack the wall and get out. You can strike walls, it costs 10. Smash the wall and then get out. Can I? Yeah, it's a thing. We could smash the walls of R&D and just, and just get in. <laughs> Because both of those are going to be coming down here. They are. Bits stuck in there as well, aren't they? Yeah. But I had to keep bits safe. Yep. Right, this might be the undoing of everything because we're getting trapped in there. 
So maybe. So if you stay there, possibly, wait for them to go in here, next round, smash through the wall. Yeah. And then come out here and rush in. So I'll move bit instead. Yeah. That's the plan. Okay, nice. Network. Purple. And then two generics. Okay. Well, we want to stay where we are, don't we? Mm. Why don't we just stay where we are? Yeah, you don't have to move. I was just thinking, could I have put that in there? Pop it in next time, when we need to do a strike and then a move. Oh, right, now? Now. Oh, to take two network cuts? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Before I do network, so it's one and two. Discard the guard in play and replace it with a guard from the supply that is level one. Do we want to discard a level two guard? If, if we're going to get rid of him, I don't think we need to. If you have an imperative card, discard it and collect the power. No, I'm not going to do that. Mark, it was suggesting tactically we should have used the awareness option and put it in front of the rest room to get rid of the guards in front of R&D. Well, we could good. have done, but I, I think we got another plan. I think they're going to come in and we're, we're going, going to bust through the wall and get out. That'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, all done. Degrade the burn cycle. Three. That's all right. Corp. Yeah. Corporation, sir. So. No one's got a thing on We've them. no detected bots, but we do have some bots that need investigating. We've got uh, this one. access, we've got bit, and we've got processor. Um, so. Can we do this one first? We can do this in any, any order we want to. Can we pull Bulldog back this way? Towards yeah, this, we could. <laughs> Sneaky. So is is bulldog the closest one to this? It is. So a bulldog goes one, two, three, and flips, and that's that investigated. Uh, except that now goes there because bulldog saw me when he got to here. Yeah. Um, so we can fight. We can have bulldog that way. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. And then Hamster investigates one of these and goes uh, one, two. two. So that's that done. And then the other one needs investigating by this one, yep. who goes one, two, three. Okay? Yep. And then track patrols. And you move towards a space adjacent to the, to the closest unlocked hallway door. There. One, two, three. Okay. I believe Happy. they have all done. Yeah, that's the clever play that we can choose which guard. Well, we can choose which uh, awareness chip Goes to first. have investigated first. Okay. Activate pings. Pings. There are no pings on the network, so we get one there. Advance. And we roll the dice, and it is network level goes up to three. And then advanced threat. And then threat goes up by two. Oh, hang on. Aren't there movement values doubled? Oh, yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay. We can fix that. We can. But it we does can mean you're going fix it. It means you're going to get It does mean... We're going to get... Yeah, so if pop bulldog there... Do you want to get... I get hit for one. That's okay. Yeah. Um, that moves another three. Was it moving towards? It was going. It was, it was on patrol. Investigating here. It was. Uh, and this was moving towards the door. So one, two, three. And then that one moves. And that one moves another two. Okay, fixed. Yeah, well remembered. Right there we go. Is there a guard in R and D or just a chip there? There is uh, a guard. There is a guard in R and D. Yeah. It's a bulldog. It's a level two bulldog. Right, I think we fixed it. I think we fixed the double movement. Thank you for spotting that. That's right. Okay. Advanced threat we did. It's back to you. Hopefully, our last turn. I think that's the plan. It's the plan. Am I rooting power? I don't think so, because I don't know if I'll be able to move. And can you get that? Yeah, we need to oh, get... Oh, I see what you mean, because you need to I spend need to most of your dice. to break through the wall. Yeah. And I need you, to, you need to get there and open a door. Well, I've got a key. You have got a key. Yeah. 
So I can get in. That that's not a problem. Getting in, and I've got loads of dice to run up there. Okay. So Do you want to root power? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I need to. Okay. Um, unless rooting power to here is going to help. I don't think it is. Um, the bulldog would have invested. One of those awareness, not the guard on the east. Was that? No, we had Bulldog investigate this one because it was closest. Bulldog was closest. Bulldog was closest to this one. So we chose that Bulldog investigated that one. Yeah. Cool. Push on. I think. Bulldog. Yeah, I, th I think you choose an awareness first. I'll just check that yeah. while we're here. Um, but no, but do I want to invest in one of those awareness, not the guard on the east? You meant these ones. Yeah, we had it. We had it go for this one, not one of these. We assume the order was up to us. The bulldog in the R and D. There is in a room. It doesn't move, right? Ah, uh, no, it does investigate. It ah, does investigate. Right. Okay. Yeah, we got that wrong. So this one was actually one, two, three. Ah. So rather than that hamster. Yeah. So we can fix this. Let's put that back. He the was, hamster was, I think. Well, it was here. Back there. Yeah. Because it went one, two, three, four, one, five, two, six. six. Yeah. So this this bulldog is nearer. One, that. two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. Okay. Swapping places because it's moving twice yeah. the amount. Yeah. Okay. And that guy still would have moved. And then that guy would have still moved and gone one, two, three. Swap. Swap. Turn one, two, three. Four, five, six on its patrol, and then this one would have gone one, two, three on its patrol. Okay. Fixed. So yeah. I think we're still good. We're still good. I think we are still good. Is there <laughs> anything I want to root power to at this point? There's no point spending four blue for one red, is it? Or is no. it? Well, that's worth two, potentially. What's the minimum on a red? Two. Yeah, it's like for like, isn't it? It's almost. But, but you've potentially got four on those yeah, blues. Yeah, yeah. So my first action is going to be an optimised move. And you're going to roll everything. Well, do I do I need to? No, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, and that's it. Eight. You you, you, you when you open the key. Oh yeah, nine. Potentially ten. I'm thinking. Is there anything that I can do to help you? Well, you can move. I can move bit. Bit's got swap. Yeah, well, I can only move bit one because you're the one that needs to. Oh yeah, smash you can move bit one. You yeah. can move bit one. You could, yeah. But if I'm not doing any other, I mean, I could do the terminal. I could go in here and do a terminal. That might be something. I think you just move. I think you just roll everything and go as far as you can, don't you? Yeah, but I might want to leave some for the for the terminal action. So I need what was it? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So. That's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And plus two because it's optimized. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Got it. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Save them. Eleven. Spend them. Um, so I end up here. Yep. I'm going to look at a terminal card when I go in the room. But where does this... There? There. Hamster sees me, one, two, three. Yep. Okay. Yep, yeah, my ability. You're doing it. You're peeking. Yep, I'm peeking at it. And I'm. Oh yeah, I'll use Toss the key. Toss away your key. Free. I don't want that one. So it comes down to whether I can bust this door down, doesn't it? Wall so down. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to rip. No, what am I going to do with that one? I'm going to take a network card. Yeah, do it because you might be able to break a wall with a network card. Yeah, or anything then like that. Then here, I'm going to replace. I'm going to alter the burn cycle and put that in. 
Super. Which means my terminal action. No, that's the wrong one. But anyway, I'm doing it anyway. This one. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can do that. What's that there? That's one. No, in fact, good. I'll put that in anyway. Yeah. I'll draw another network card. And then on this one, I'll do a optimized terminal action. Okay. So. Um, surveil a room of your choice. Add an action chip from the market to your reserve. Impersonate customer services. Okay, customer yeah. services. Yeah, none of this is of any use at all. Mm. So I will... Since I've got dice left... This is my ability. You can throw No, it. I've already done that. Oh, okay. I'm going to choose the first one. I need four. You got it. I got four. So I have impersonated customer services. <laughs> decreasing the... Uh, the CEO's network level down to one, and I get the bottom one for free, adding a physical chip to my reserve. Bulldog can actually see you all the way back there. Can it? Okay. So can I have a physical chip in my reserve, please? Yes. Thank you. Right. Now we've got my network step. Yep. And I need to be on layer three or four. You're on it. Yeah. But we've got to be careful of that ping. Isn't that thing going to come It's only around? going to move three, and then it might transfer around to you, and you'll beat it. Yeah. So it's not right. a problem at all. Okay. Um, so it's what? Purple, yeah. black, blue, Do you want to root green. power on anything? I'm going to. I'm just trying to get something sneaky. So purple is there. Yeah. Generic is there. Blue is there, gaining a power. And then green, I'm just going to move to there, leaving that free for you. Okay. Didn't do either of these. No. But that's fine. Um, because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to root power. No, I'm not. I was going to repair. Repairing is generic action. Which yeah. I completely forgot. I was going to repair you for... That would have been cool. You need to um, root power and make sure you're over your max. Yeah. I'm just thinking, what did, what did I do here? Oh, that was the terminal was action. The, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I no, keep forgetting. Fine. Well, the only thing you could do is spend five. Uh, four. Yeah. Let, let's do it. I'll, I'll buy another. Is that an action? No, that's rooting power. It's rooting power. So I bought that, which means we get another black generic chip on there. Okay. So it's, it's all on this. It's all on this. And it is your go. Yep. We're both in the right place on our network. If I mean we're not we're not gonna do it because you need to get the wall destroyed and you need to get both you and Bit in there. I need to pop for another comfort break, so yep. let you decide. <laughs> okay. How are you gonna do it? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six move, six free movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, which will get a bit in there. I oh, know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one movement for bit. I've got six because I can do an optimized move, an optimized move, and then use my ability for another optimized move. That's six. So my dice need to cover smacking the wall down and one, two, three, five movement for me. Which is quicker through that way or that way? This way. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think I can do it, can I? Once per term, after performing an optimized action, process may discard any chip from the team's reserve and replace it with a chip from the supply so I could put two power here to get another physical chip in which will give me another two movement I like this but I'm losing two dice if I root power which I don't want to do okay and um, we're gonna wait for Paul to come back so I'm just gonna build my dice pool and I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to say, Ricky, what are you doing, you Muppet? Do this. And then I'll have a look. Hey, Fix. 
<laughs> nice to have you with us. The reds also give rerolls, so if it's reroll with other things, reds are consistently... Oh, good point, yeah. So I, when I was talking about um, the, the, should he keep the four blues or the reds, so we're going to re re a bit, but yeah. It, it would have been... It could have been better. To, reds are better than four blues because you've got a re-roll is what's, um, what's being said. There's a chance of a re-roll. Hello, mate. How is it going? Well, I was thinking about... I, I understood if I use two power, mm -hmm. which is two blue, I can actually get another physical chip, which means I can do another optimised move, which is two move. Okay. And is that better than two blue dice? Yes. Two blue dice and an action. Um, with this realization matrix. I've also got alteration matrix, which is three blue dice, potentially. Um, I think it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is better than two dice. If I root power and go down to, to four... Yeah, you get realization matrix, which does once per turn, when performing an optimized action... I can replace this green chip with for a purple one yeah which which i can then put in and get a plus two move yeah right. okay you with me yeah i don't know if that's right or wrong but okay uh, not yet not yet not yet not yet after i do it right that's the that's the thinking right team's reserve can go here I've realized Oh yeah, good part. Smashing walls. So the so I'm 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 using all of these to smash walls. All right. It's at plus two. Yeah. This is what I did last time though, because then I'm thinking I've got all of this. Then I've got another plus two. Yeah. Another plus two. One, two, three, four. Still isn't enough to get them in. And I'm trying to think how I get both me and a bit in there. So the other option is not smashing the wall and just pushing. Oh no, you can't push because there's two of them in a row now. No, so I can. You wouldn't be able to push. I can. Oh no, because you can't push can't them into push the space the, that yeah. you're vacating. Yeah. So how much do I need to smack a wall down? Ten. So I need eight if I optimize it. Mm -hmm. So th I don't know, two, four, six. Yeah, I feel like I need to roll all my dice. That's the trouble. Just to break through the wall, and then we have to survive another turn. Yeah, we're just going to then survive one other turn, so that you can move bit yeah well bit needs to survive another turn bit will take a hit from bulldog which will be two power leaving bit on one yeah. power i think i've got to fully commit to this okay. roll i think i've got to fully commit to this smashing roll. smashing so i need eight off the dice one two three four five six seven that is a re-roll that's a re-roll Oh, wasn't this you swines chip theory games? So, am I rerolling this yellow? How One, many blanks two, three, are there? Four, five, six. You got a four in six chance if you reroll a blue. I've got a four in six. So you got a four in six chance if you reroll a yellow. So, it don't matter, does it? Don't matter. Come on in, Mr. Yellow. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay. So this wall is broken. Or no, this wall that is way, broken. That, that way. That wall is broken. Right. Okay. And I have got an extra blue die for another move. Um, okay. So. Right. The smash. striking bot becomes detected if not already detected. So that goes on there. Yeah. Um, and may choose to take a free movement through the destroyed wall. If the space is unoccupied, uh, I'm still you're bringing still it. detected. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Right, that's it. Yeah. I don't think threat goes up. No. It's just you're detected and it's striking security units that increases threat. Okay, awesome. Right, after performing an optimised action, Premocessor may discard a chip from the team's reserve Yeah. and replace it with a chip from the supply that matches the action he took. Right, nice. Next action. An optimised... Using your ability. Using my ability. This is going to become an optimised yeah, physical action. Which, which lets me move to... Yeah. One, two. Yep. Yeah. Other way around, but yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Still aware. Still, yep. Yeah. Then this one. I can. You can switch upgrade that. Upgrade the burn cycle. To do an optimized move, move action. With this die. Which hopefully. Wow. Well, yeah, with this die. Yeah. But before I do, do I want to air horn? How will that help? I don't know. <laughs> you just want to use your air horn, don't you? I just want to go <laughs> stick this in your ear, I'll, that's what I want to do. These guys, one of them's going to go that way and one of them's going to come this way. Yeah. When they go here, mm -hmm. they can see bits. Yeah. Can they? Yes. Uh, no, because they only have awareness to things within their area. So the fact that Bit is in this room and they're in the corridor. So that's going to push. That's just going to patrol. And yeah, push they're, them they're actually not going to get Bit. Right, I'm going to fire my air horn. If I've understood this correctly, they are just going to go to there. That's going to get removed. They are not going to come in the room and investigate. Really? Because they don't know Bit is here. They, they think Bit was in. there. Yeah, yeah. So Bit's safe. Right, so I'm going to air horn and stick my thing there. Okay. If you pardon the expression, and then I'm going to roll that as a zero. Okay, but you've got two moves. But I've got two moves, so I'm going so in you're there. you're in. Um, until the end of the round, security has no awareness of your agent. Discard this. Thanks, Paul. So I'm presuming, given they've got no awareness, that's not moving. Um, final action. I could move again. You could move again. You could optimize it with the physical chip. We could move bit one, two, three. I've got. Oh, it's not final action. I got one more. <coughs> oh yeah. I could network. Uh, we just got to get bit in there, haven't we? Yeah. I've got two. Might as well do that, and I. Yep. You've got a physical as well. I do. We're, yeah, we're, we're in the we're, we're in the clear, aren't we? I think so. I think we got it. So I'm going to roll that. One move, bit one. Then take an optimized move, move bit one more time. Just one. Yeah. We don't want to go out in the corridor because he'll get spotted by That's true. this. That's true. So I think we're done. Okay. So we're finished. Network. Network step. Yeah. Do you want to do anything on the network or not? <clears throat> I've left this space for you so you can come around and grab the power. Let's do that. Yep. So we've got purple. One step. Yeah. Purple getting you a power. Up there, yeah. Maybe. I just don't want to be where some a pin can come out and pin no, me. No, I think you're okay. Right, so corporations turn. Oof. Degrade the bird Swap cycle. chips because then more options for bit. So Scott, I don't know what it means. Swap chips. Do you mean move on to my space? Yeah. Yeah, I could have moved there. Yeah, I think you need to move one so that I can get a bit in on my turn. I got one movement left anyway. Did you? Yeah, I had two. Okay. I had two. Yeah. Thank you. Action five is degraded. Ah. Uh, okay. So, 
Corporation's turn. Any detected bots? No. There are no detected bots. So, investigation. Awareness. Yeah. This might be important. So if we do this one first, Bulldog moves to there, and that's gone. Yeah. Um, then, if we do... It doesn't really matter. Oh, no, it does. So we do processor. This one goes and investigates there. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep, this is the closest one. Yep. It goes one, two. And doesn't see anybody. So that's that done and that done. And then we do access, which is bulldog, which goes one, two, three. And that's done. And that's done. And then patrol. Uh, oh, they're moving six. They're moving double. Sorry. No. Yeah. The swines. All so the way that to actually there. does land on there, yeah. which means it's gotten rid of it. And that's that done. That and then that moves another three. Yeah, one, two, three. So we're still all okay. And then that flips, and that flips. And There's then this one moves one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't that swap when it moves in there? Possibly, yeah. And it locks that door. Hamster, did you do? He's actually got two special abilities, Cautious and Arc. We not bother reading about Arc, but Cautious means he locks that. Um, does he move double? I did, yep. yeah. So Hamster, one, two, three, four, five. Six. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> yes, well done, Hamster. Okay. He's living so up to his name now. He's just going around in circles. Uh, that's still there. That's there. That's there. Yeah. Activate pings. Activate pings. So there is one ping on the network, so it moves three. One, two, three. And then it transfers out. We don't roll. Advanced threat. Advanced threat by two. One, two. We're okay. Done. My go. Come on in, Paul. I'll bring roll it a bunch of dice and move back. Br bring it home. Yeah. Bring it home. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one red. Physical action, optimised, choose the move action, roll all of those, move bit in. Done. Occupy R&D of all IPs on layoff, free or full or network. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey. Now, we did get a couple of rules wrong yeah. at various times, but, oh, that's, but that's, fine. that's that's fine. what happens yeah, when you play... Yeah. I was like saying this. this the other day when I was playing a game. It's like if you if you get getting rules wrong in an analog board game is just part of the course, right? Depending on the game. Yeah. Yeah. But the the one of the signs of a good design is that if you do mess the rules up, it doesn't break everything. You yeah. can just keep you can play through it. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes you don't even notice. Yeah. Um, well, there was, a, there was definitely a few things that we we, did. we missed that the chat spotted. Yeah. And there were other things that the chat didn't spot. That we that yeah. we then spotted and it's later. great having those guys there as well because yeah. we can play together and help yeah. help with what's going on. So just before you all disappear, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, certainly, thank you to those people that have been watching live. Um, it's been good having you here, keeping us company and keeping us honest with a couple of the rules. <laughs> um, but also a big thank you to everybody who has been watching uh, afterwards because um, most of my views do come from afterwards. Uh, both me and Ricky have taken today off work in order to produce this content for you. For you. So yeah, big thank you to all of you for watching. Uh, and as always, um, all of my advertising revenue goes to charity. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not doing these videos to get the views because extra views doesn't actually get me any money, but it does raise more money for charity. Um, so yeah, by watching this video, you've helped raise a bit of money uh, for charities supporting Ukraine at the moment. Well, Other than that, we can give our thoughts on this game because we've both played a lot of Too Many Bones. We've both played a lot of Cloud Spire. You've played a lot of Hopper Marcus, which I've not yet. Mm. This game is very, very different from all of the other three. It is. Okay? Now, Chip Theory Games, you can tell it's a Chip Theory game, mm -hmm. game for two reasons. One is the production quality. There isn't any other company that makes games with neoprene and chips and like this. So straight away, you know it's a game from them. But also the rules and the complexity and the depth of the game and the massive amounts of variability that is also in their in their dna yeah so we were talking about this earlier on i personally believe this is their most complex game in terms of base rules mm. it has fewer keywords than too many bones and cloud spire but the core base rules of the game are more complex and every game you play of this will have a different situation so we we said earlier on we could play exactly the same mission 
on exactly the, yeah, the same mission with the same floor plan layout with three different bots... Yeah. And it would be a completely different game. And even with the same boxes, you've got different equipment, you've got these different cards that are coming up. Um, some of the, you know, when the points we picked up keys and the, the, some of the decisions that came from these net, network upgrades that are coming out. Yeah. They just change yeah. those little tactical moments. Yeah. I mean, so there's lots going on. If we'd have played with a different captain, yeah. that would have been different. Yeah. Okay, because this captain was going around locking doors. Yeah. It meant we really wanted to remove that and, burn And that really early. changed the way we thought about what we were doing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, exactly right. And what you've seen here, if you, if you haven't seen any other videos on this game, this one is unusual because of the vibration sensors in the floors when we were in the hallway, we yeah, were automatically that detected. It. That's not the normal game. The normal game is you have to, be, you have to use the it's awareness of the security of sight, units... Yeah. Um, a lot more than we did here. So yeah, yeah, variability is, is through the roof. Personally, I didn't find the complexity more. Um, I think for me, I find Cloud's World more difficult, and possibly right. too many bones as well. And not, not obviously, uh, Hopla Marcus, obviously less complex. Because there's not a lot going on with these guys. All right, we, there's maybe there's little bits like cautious here and arc, and there's little bits that you need to learn. Grapple, but, we never we never used grapple, or we forgot about it. Yeah. Drain didn't yeah. didn't come in. But I just feel like main, once you've gotten the rules down, and we've not played. I'm not. You've played a lot more than me. Yeah. But it, once you've gotten the rules down, and they come quite quickly. All right, we've had a long session. But the uh, uh, the the thing about chip free games is you've got to play. If if I leave it another couple of months before I it's play gone. again, it's yeah. Gone again. yeah, yeah. All but, the all their games have a yeah. have a learning curve, and require. Investment in time and learning. But the rule books just, are getting better and better. The rule books getting time. better. The rule book for this is really good. Yeah. Um, you can't just, really as you good. say, you can't just leave this in the cupboard for six months and then say, "Oh, shall we? Shall we have a quick game of Burn Cycle?" Yeah. Because if you do, you'll end up having to relearn a lot of it and look things up all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really puzzly again, isn't it? It's very. Well, it's, it's, but it changed. Say, is it more puzzly than the other ones? It's not. It, it's it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, they're all that way. Yeah, but it did. I mean, they obviously you noticed the change of tempo at the end when it was like smash stuff. We got this, <laughs> and then let's just smash and I run. Mean, it was when we got the which dice. was fun. It was great fun. It was when we was got just about enough dice that we went. Oh wait a minute, I yeah. can get ten. Yeah, I don't need to push him out of the way or worry about him or anything else. I'll just yeah. hit him, and but the only reason I hit that one here is for the key. Right. Yeah, not not just to get it out of the way, but hitting it and getting rid of it got me the key, and then which meant I could run in here and not and not worry about the key. But yeah, there were those nice little pivot points where there was crunchy little decisions that were based on one or two dice, which yes. was cool, which was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really cool. Let's see what the chat's saying. Yes, everybody like the video. Please give us a please give us a thumbs up. And if you're watching this back afterwards, uh, just please leave me a comment because that really helps the algorithm. And obviously, share the video with other people if you think that they'll find it uh, find it useful. Um, yeah, what else have we missed? What else have we missed? This or Too Many Bones? It's, it's difficult to compare. They both scratch a very different, different niche. I know Adam and Josh like um, video games, mm -hmm. and this kind of f reflects that, like Cloud Spire did. Yeah. Um, then this was more video gamey, and then I'm, I know they're talking about Elder Scrolls next, which, yeah. you know, so they're playing into that kind of mindset of thinking like a um, video game designer. Yeah. There were bits of it when. I did the original pre preview, like the network, which I thought could have been streamlined away. Right. But when you actually sit down and get familiar, I mean, we, we took on different roles in a two-player. Mm. So your role was this and my role was that. You know, you were there on the board opening things and this my role was looking at this. Yeah. It's, this is obviously a mechanism to opening up those cards and dealing, you know, keeping threat in check. And that actually became something I could focus on. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the reasons I like this idea. Because this wasn't something I was convinced about. I thought, well, let's play it and yeah. see, what, see how it plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let, you know. Um, different player counts, obviously, are going to be different. Yeah. Um, but you've got some TTS plays, I think, with Yeah, so we started a three-player game of this last night. Um, we finished the first floor, and we'll go back to it. But the three-player version of this scenario was a lot, a lot, more, a lot different because you had to get in both locations now as it was we did we got in there and cleared it and we got in here and cleared it so we we actually achieved the three player objective mm. but your threat will go up by three every turn right uh rather than two but it, it just it, it had a different feel but we were playing with three different bots mm. we had crash who was going around dissolving walls and right um he put a proximity mine in a corner 
and the bots were coming towards it, or the guards were coming towards it and then they blew up and things like that. It was just very, very different. So that would have changed, yeah, completely changed I mean, things. one of the things, again, that um, I think is the genius of, uh, of Chip Theory games is that they produce characters which play in a very, very different way. Right. So in Too Many Bones, every character is totally unique and works in a completely different way. Clouds by the four different factions are so very different, yeah. or the five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. um, and in this as well... All of these, all of these bots and agents work. In yeah, a very and obviously you way. can switch this thing out as well. And we've yeah. chose something that was very simple. Yeah, we chose this one because the other one that we we were considering was a little bit more complicated, and this one was quite nice. It just meant that our doors to our safe zones were permanently unlocked, which means we don't have to worry about you know running to get to the exit. It isn't isn't a problem, um, and we've played a two floor mission today that is complexity yeah. level one. Yeah, so there are. <laughs> There are more complex missions, and you can scale the difficulty as well. So, well, if that it's was too quite hard, nice actually. When we got to the second floor, it was there wasn't a great deal to no, really learn. No, you know, it was, it was just the same like okay, thing. yeah. Um, but yeah, difficulty level scaling. You can flip this over, right. and you can play on a simple side where there is a lot less stuff on there. Uh, you can also not use the guard's ability, so the the grapple and the drain okay. and, and all that. You can choose not to use that if you want to. And there's a harder difficulty level too. So if it's if it's if it's too easy for you, you can you can up the difficulty. Um, but yeah, with 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 the expansion, you've got four different corporations, eight missions per corporation. Mm. You don't need any more. This game has got enough game in it to keep you going for a very very long time. So when you talked about the the characters in Too Many Bones, the yeah, gear locks that you can play, and they and they have different complexity levels. Yes, these ones didn't. These don't. ones don't. I think so they're, they're all roughly the balanced. same. Okay. Um, but certainly, I mean, I've not looked at all of them, mm -hmm. um, but one of the ones that Luke played on Friday was Transmitter. Right. Now, Transmitter, first of all, can't move themselves unless it's an optimised physical action. They just are not allowed to move. But because they're part of the scenery, they're this really small little thing in sat in a corner, they never get detected by security units. Mm -hmm. But whenever anybody moves that's next to them, they just follow along. They just hold on to the leg. So whether it be a friendly bot or a guard, if transmitter is next to them, they, they just go, along. oh yeah, I'll, I'll tag along with you. Very, very different, right? And, yeah, and yeah. the bots work in, a, in an extremely interesting way. Uh, Mark is playing 100% on hard mode every time. It pushes the stealth aspect even harder. Yes. Um, yeah, cool. Right, so we are all done. We are going to wrap things up. Yeah, Ricky's going to head off home because he's got hot pot. Yeah, <laughs> which you look forward to. Uh, yeah, big thank you to Ricky because he's come all the way from Bath today. Oh, it's a great time to two hour drive. It's great to spend uh, time with you, mate. It's nice <laughs> two hour drive back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're both big fans of Chip Theory Games, which is which is why we've we've done this. So yeah, thank you very much for taking your your day off work to do this. That's a pleasure. But it's good to see you again. Good yeah, to play likewise. a game. And you're coming back tomorrow, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, if I could. <laughs> like like everybody, we all wish we had more time to play games. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Right, man. we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all later in the week for some more live streams. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.